What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kind of Funny's XCU in Review. That's right. We are ranking and reviewing all of the X-Men cinematic universe, all the way from X-Men 1 through 2, Deadpool 2. What, what's up, Greg Miller? You look like you're I was just something. catching a few Zs. Just catching them. Just catching a few Zs yeah, while you're you sleeping with your eyes. No, no, my eyes were very much closed. Yeah, you were smiling. You were sleeping with your well, eyes I want to be on. Having a good dream. Yeah. Here's the thing you don't understand. A lot of no. the people who watch a YouTube video, yeah. like when when I talk to Andy right now, I'm looking yeah. at Andy's eyes, right? Yeah. Yeah. But when up. people watch a YouTube video, they watch the mouths. So you can do if you want to shut your eyes and catch a few. They don't know. They're never gonna know. Just, just do that, and they don't fuck God damn, You are Meanwhile, a fucking innovator. The podcast mm. listeners, these motherfuckers, they're morons. They have no clue. They don't know what you're doing at all. <laughs> Am I wearing here. pants? Who am I touching right now? <laughs> okay, Kevin gave it away. It was him. Kevin, <laughs> 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 Nick, Greg, Andy, me, hey guys. We're the, the whole gang's me. here. We're gonna review some X Men movies. I'm excited. Oh, it's beer o'clock. No, he told it me. Huh? That's clock. cool. Yeah, bro. Cool, Greg. Got this. We were doing some sky calls, hanging out with the. I have a beer as well, Mr. Greg. Um, every Thursday at 9 a.m. right here on youtubecom slash kind of funny you get to watch us talk about our x-men movie going experience you can get it as a podcast by searching for kind of funny reviews on whatever podcast service you like to use what do you got for me kev what does that mean you gave me a look you gave me a look oh, like no. you had some input i my eyes are also closed Quit giving him looks i think right. we're all i'm honestly on this side of the table is now trying the eyes closed that uh, mentality now, to be fair, really when i said well. that kevin's eyes were the opposite of closed i don't think i've ever seen them more open <laughs> now they're weirdly halfway closed what they're fully open do it Deadpool have is the movie of the week oh i, do. I really don't like that <laughs> yeah. I'm doing it too am, I do, am i doing it <laughs> i can't tell yeah but it looks weird when you do it oh man he's like Deadpool. Popeye. Released on February 12th, 2016. How can we forget? Uh, directed by Tim Miller. This was his directorial debut. I didn't realize True that. story, no relation to me that I know of. Yeah? No relation have you to looked either. into it? No. Do you 23 and me, call dude. your mom and ask her. I did have a cousin named Tim, so it's possible. You but should I think call I your mom and ask her. It would be on my dad's side, so mom would be a little to know help. Actually, my mom would probably be more help than my dad. That's what I thought, because he had the concussion thing. 23 and me will say like 43% oh, right, Scandinavian, 4% Tim Miller's. That's what I've heard. 4% yeah. Tim Miller. Yeah. Um, he is going to be the executive producer on Yo, the Sonic the Hedgehog pie. live action movie next year. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. On the what? Uh, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, Hedgehog live action movie. Yeah, we'll see. Um, he was a VFX supervisor. I thought this was interesting. Uh -huh. On Scott Pilgrim. Um, Star Wars: The Old Republic Ooh. cinematics. Yeah. yeah, he worked at Blur, right? And uh, I remember Mass that. Effect Two. Yeah, uh, cinematics. And Hell stuff. yeah! So, so there's a lot of cool shit going <laughs> Wait, on. Am I wrong? There. Am I wrong? Yeah. That he worked at Blur. No, I think that's yeah, right. I mean, okay. Do you yeah. want it? Yeah. So I take it. Then on top of that, he, he did the uh, intro cinematics for Thor: The Dark World and Girl with the Thank Dragon you. Tattoo. Oh, dude, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Do you, do you remember Dragon the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo intro? It was yeah. fucking intense. And when you when you know that and you look at this movie, it's like, oh man, they got the right guy. <laughs> yeah, because this movie was really directed kind of music video like, where it's just relentless. Who did the effects of this for this cool movie? Shit happening. Probably. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds himself. No, he he did pull favors. I remember reading that somewhere that like. They got the effects done super well, cheap. Well, that, that's the whole thing. Yeah. The, going to the budget and but stuff. But was it Blur? Budget of... No, I don't think so. Did, but Blur did the first thing that came out years ago. Years oh, ago. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. okay. Budget of $58 the million. Dollars. For context, uh, $205 million went into last week's Days of Future Past. And the original X-Men 1 was 75 That's so, so this, cheap. This was even less than the original X-Men movie. It? Fifty-eight million. 58 People million. didn't believe in this movie, right? That it, was the thing. They, yeah. they thought it was a huge risk doing the rated R thing. Are you about to get and in all this? Getting, in, getting into the, the shut box up, office. everybody. The box office here. Uh, so l last week's Days of Future Past was at seven hundred and forty-seven point nine million. This got seven hundred and eighty-three point yeah. one million dollars. Suck from it. Fifty-eight. Yeah, Suck I mean, if you remember, this is it. the movie that proved you could make a rated R comic book movie as long as it was good, it would be marketable. Yeah. And this was also, if I'm not mistaken, the, how they had it falling out on the second one, right? Which is Ryan Reynolds wanted to keep it smaller, and Tim Miller was like, "Let's blow this out of the." I think it was, was it not was the like, opposite. I thought it was the opposite. Was yeah, the opposite? I think no, Ryan Reynolds way, wanted yeah. to go bigger uh, than Tim Miller. And then, so yeah, so X Men won seventy five million dollar budget, two hundred ninety six million dollar take home, which was a huge success. But then you look at this from fifty eight to seven hundred eighty three. That's a hit. That's like unheard of. That's insane. That's really uh, breaking yeah. all the records for the rated R movies and stuff. But yeah, Kevin, you're bringing up an interesting thing here, where originally Ryan Reynolds made with Blur mm -hmm. the. Um, Heavily CG, yeah, uh, kind of pitch. It was all video CG for this. Really, it was, was all it? CG. Yeah. It was all just once animated. Was it not just that, that? Like it was the beginning of the show. Yeah, yeah, it's the beginning of it's the fight that eventually happens in this yeah. movie in the SUVs yeah. when he jumps though. off the thing. Yes, uh, I rewatched it, re -watched it and it's like different me. songs are playing, <laughs> and uh, uh, it's not as pretty. It's all animated, yeah. But jokes that are like but I wonder than the movie. I wonder if Tim Miller was involved in that because he was at one point working with Blur when they were doing the the. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Really interesting but you stuff. should watch the the short because it's very different than the mm-hmm. actual movie. It's the same scene, but like a lot of different shit happens. Tone piece though, right? Of like yeah. this is what yep. they were going for, yep. and Reynolds mm-hmm. released it to the public and was like, "Hey, this is what we want to make, but mm-hmm. we can't ever get it." To it was so exciting when that came out. Yeah. I remember being like, "Man, I wish we get this someday." And we did, which is fucking crazy. And they they totally. What, your eyes closed there, Kev? What? No, I was burping quietly. I I knew I knew it well. Yeah. You know, like how you tried how you did like the, the smile and the burp. I've been there. Been there. You drink I as much as I do. Out of my mouth. <laughs> Christ, the fart out of your mouth. I'm sorry. Vomit before is poop out of before your we mouth. get into the, the plot for this one. Oh God damn it! I almost spit up. That would have made poop out of the mouth. Yes. You know? <laughs> uh, before we get into the the plot recap, brought sure. to you by one Greg Miller. I just want to say this is the first time in the XCU that. I liked the movie better rewatching it than I did the first oh, time. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Uh, Almost won. all the other ones, I was like, like, oh, man, I remember liking this more than I, mm-hmm. I did. Deadpool 1, wait, I always wait, thought wait. was kind of overrated. I loved it, mm-hmm. but I was like, I thought I got too high praise. Now rewatching it, I'm like, this yeah. shit's fucking good, It reminded good, me man. how much better it is in Deadpool 2. Uh, the tool. To calm the down, tool. dude. We'll tool. get there, okay? So much better we'll, than part we'll two. We'll get there. Calm yeah. down. So it, much better, you say? Yeah. Y'all yeah. crazy. Yeah, I'll add to that. I was actually dreading watching this, and then the first scene started, I was like, oh, wait. Right. This is this is going to be a quick roller coaster ride of crazy. That was so my thing about too. it. Is like, yeah, you know, like it was like some of these movies, not all of these movies, have been long, Fucking right? Drag. And so like this one moves at a good clip. You know what I mean? I could still do things last night after this movie. I didn't have to like <laughs> fucking immediately go to bed because it was mm. four in Special the morning. Special effects are expensive. And there's there are some, and this is the problem with Deadpool. Is like I when I watch these, I try to remember the the funniest lines that stand out. There are some. There's so many jokes. So in many this, misses and so many Doesn't misses. Matter. But some that hit so well that I just can't remember. I, I mean, I can't remember them. Like mm-hmm. I remember the avocado joke. I remember the joke where he's like somewhere in this apartment is like two pounds of cocaine and the cure for blindness. Yeah, <laughs> which, like, what's which funny? we see in Deadpool too. Yeah, the two pounds of cocaine he goes to get afterwards. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> it's so he's ridiculous. such a dick. God, I love <laughs> but I just I, we always talk about. Like, in the when it's nice when the superhero movies are a smaller, more yeah. contained story, and mm-hmm. like we give Ant Man a lot of credit for that. I think that this is the smallest, most contained story we have ever got from a superhero movie. Oh, it's great, and they yeah. make fun of it, obviously. Yeah, you know all the all the all the critique of like there's yeah. only two X Men here. We get that again, and then second. That's I so love great. all so of great. it, man. It's so good. It, it just all that stuff is is. I think it really works. That that's the great part about this movie is that they took all of their um all the things that could have worked against them and made them work for them. Yeah, you know they really made, where they were self aware. I love the you know the enemy not being this big monster CG mm-hmm. thing and it just being a a person that. To just fucking fight him, and also the like him just being named Francis. Like it's all so simple, so fun. I love. They joke that it's a, a love story. It really is. Like when it boils down to it, it's like it's a simple revenge plot and a, a story about him. His origin story has as much to do with him falling in love that it does with him being a superhero. Yep. Hit me, Greg. Okay. We what? need like a song for you to kick it off. What's the Lay plot song? Huh? What's the plot song, Andy? We're plotting, we're plotting, we're plotting with Greg. He's gonna give us the plot. Don't make me beg for the plot. Are you feeling or not? I'm feeling hot. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. All right yeah. Try to remember that okay. next week. I'll look out for it that. Okay. All right. Maximum effort. Mm. Deadpool starring Ryan Reynolds. We start with an awesome uh, run through of the title credits here. You know what I mean? And I remember this. I remember watching this originally in the theater and people laughing at it. And I wasn't picking up on it because I'm watching Body Spiral and the cigarette lighter in the guy's yeah. mouth. Like, what are people? And then you notice they're pulling out, you know, some asshat, this guy, mm-hmm. the real hero, overpaid like, oh, douchebag. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's Too much awesome. CG. You're like, oh, An that's English really villain. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we go through this whole scene. You're wrapping around, seeing all the stuff. Like, what's happening? All these people die. Oh my god. Blah, blah. And then we get to the cab. We're in the cab with uh, Deadpool and his taxi driver friend, whose name escapes me. Do- dope. Dopinder. Dopinder. Yeah, yeah Dopinder. Dope Named after one of Ryan Reynolds' friends in elementary school that got struck by lightning and died. Whoa. It's a fact. Whoa. Wow. It's a legit Holy fact. shit. <laughs> Anyways, Joe Pinder's in there driving the cab. Deadpool's in the back seat. He crawls into the front seat. He starts having funny, wacky dialogue and looking at us and getting the gum off the window and doing all that stuff. And he tells us we're going to go out on a love story. This is a love story. We're about to have a love story. And you're like, how could this be a love story? We jump back in time. Not too far, but not, you know, not super recent either. In between. You're in the Here medium times, mm-hmm. you know? And it's, guess what? This asshole is getting a pizza delivered to his house. He didn't order the pizza, but hey, the pizza's here from this scrawny little Kurt Cobain looking motherfucker. And then the other guy who's a douchebag with his bedazzled jeans, like, I didn't order the fucking pizza. What are you fucking talking about? And then the toilet flushes, and guess what? Wade Wilson comes out, and Wade Wilson's like, I ordered that pizza. Pineapple and uh, olive, right? Salty and sweet. You're like, that Uh, sounds worse than Joey Noel's taste in pizzas, but uh, okay, you have it at least. She likes grease, too. 
<laughs> she does like grease too. Uh, he comes over. He takes Bedazzle Jewel guy's wallet because he offers it to him, thinking he's getting robbed. We all think he's there to murder him. We know that Wade Wilson, of course, the merc with the mouth, he's there to kill somebody. Mm-hmm. And we think yeah, he's going to kill this douchebag. And he, he he cuts his head. He hits him in the head with something. And he sits down. And all this shit's happening. And uh, it turns out, no, he's here for the pizza delivery boy. What? This pizza delivery boy's been stalking a girl. Oh my god, what a twist! And then you think he's going to be friends with the douchebag, but no, he no. drops the pizza. He does all this different stuff. And he's basically like, I'm going to fucking kill you. You know what is it? Words hurt, but like the serrated knife hurts more. If you keep going around this girl, I'm gonna fucking murder you. You understand? He's like, yeah, okay, cool. It's all good. Oh yeah, it's all good. And he knocks a piece of it out. He slams him on the wall, and he's like, I'll fucking kill you. And he kisses and licks him or whatever. It's great. It's very Nick. It's a good There's thing. a lot of Nick in the scene. Well, what I, what, the, the thing that's I think hardest about this movie is trying to make. Uh, Deadpool actually like personable and like uh, like appeal to people right and I think Ryan Reynolds does a really good job of that like it could have so easily been he's psychotic mm-hmm. but we have those flashes of I'm a little crazy but I'm de- I'm I'm a good guy but am I but yeah I'm a good guy and like they had to humanize him a little bit and I think Ryan Reynolds does a good job of that the one only the only critique I really have in the movie is when he takes the mask off he's clearly Ryan Reynolds when he puts the mask on he's very Deadpool very crazy very z- wacky so I don't know. I think they do a good job of striking that balance. Really? Yeah. I don't really like notice a, a, too much of a difference. When he, t- like, he like felt like he was always on all yeah. the time. Yeah, but I feel like time. when he's when the mask is on, it's ramped up. It is Deadpool. Huh. When the mask is off, it's I'm they, like that's what. I mean, and maybe it's just because every time the mask's off, it is those humanizing scenes. Mm-hmm. It is those scenes where he's going back and forth with uh, Marina um, Vanessa Baccarin, mm-hmm. um or T.J. Miller's character or whatever, and he's doing the. I'm a little bit more vulnerable here. When the mask goes on, it's fucking like I don't someone know. shot me up my ass, and I don't yeah, care, yeah, and it's whatever. I feel like, he's still, like even when he's like <sighs> being human, he's still mm-hmm. like it's still the rapid fire, like just ridiculous jokes that nobody would ever actually talk like that. But the dick liquor, fart liquor, yeah, like just constantly. So I, many of those. He is so good as Deadpool and as Wade Wilson Nailed in this movie it, yeah. that like. I was thinking about last time, I'm like, is there any other superhero that is just that perfect no. casting? And it's like, all right, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Like, yes, that's fucking great. And like, he is it's that good character. Pull. It's a good pull. Ryan Reynolds is great. That's a good pull. J. Jonah Norton. Jameson. In, no, uh, Spider-Man. In Spider-Man. In Spider-Man. Yeah, Christopher Reeves. Christopher Reeves. <laughs> Christopher Reeves is Superman. Christopher Reeves. I feel like Doctor Strange nailed it, too. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, so this is... He's up there with RDJ. Yeah, it sounds, sounds right. like there's been super RDJ, casting like, everything. You're right. When you watch Iron Man, you're like, oh. This guy's the character. Here's he's my question for like you, Mr. Beautiful. Marvel Boy, or at least more Marvel than me. Mm-hmm. Do you wish he was more like batshit crazy Deadpool? I, I even like here, him. I feel like he's just a very a funny. Yeah, sure, he sniffs his guns and does this weird stuff, and like, but he's he's a comedian. Whereas Deadpool is like crazy and does voices and does this and sees other little Deadpools. And I, I like this take on it. it reminds me of it's a little more grounded for Downey Jr.'s mm-hmm. take on. Iron, Iron Man, Man yeah. is probably my favorite Iron Man, even compared to the, the comics and yeah, the yeah. ultimate comics, no matter what it is. I feel like this one is like it's more relatable and it focuses on what I like about Deadpool, which is the comedy and sincerity. The fourth wall and breaking. less of yeah. the um gratuitous just craziness. Cause it's like the fourth wall breaking, I feel like they actually handle it with respect in this movie, mm-hmm. which is surprising. Cause I remember when we, we saw the the early footage of it, right? And then uh, we started seeing the trailers. There was all that question of like, how far back are they going to, are we going to get a scene of them on a movie set? And like, how far back are we going to go? And I feel like you can kind of lose the point Mm -hmm. when you, when you focus too much on that stuff. And this movie, I think it has a lot of those moments. It has a lot of fourth wall breaking stuff, but like a fourth wall break within a fourth wall break. It's like, it's a, but it is aware of it. And And they they call it out. They call it out and they quickly get back. They're like, we know this is silly. This whole thing's silly, but there is real shit going on. And it isn't just fucking weird ass craziness and I, I think Al is a perfect example of it the way sure. that they handle Al's character in the movie is so much better than they, they handle in the comics in my opinion because mm. it just gets mm. too fucking weird and out there I bought the setup they had in this movie gotcha back to the synopsis here so he's still mean to the guy that threatens the guy the pizza dude then we get, we're at a skate park cool, cool kids like Andy are reminded there me of yeah. Kick um, the opening scene in Finding not in Finding Nemo, Nemo. in uh, Free Willy Dory Okay, sure. You know what I mean? Okay. All those kids, just graffiti and fucking stuff. Yeah, tagging. We call it tagging. So cool. yeah, I don't remember it at all. Uh, he, uh, cool Greg does. Ryan Reynolds shows up with the pizza he just smashed on the ground. <laughs> nice edit there. Tony Hawk to the 900. Or he comes in, he gives it, he's like, here's the, he's eating his pizza, gives it to the girls. He, you're not going to hear from this guy again or whatever. It has some Polaroids of the guy being, I'm sorry or whatever. The girl calls him a hero. He's like, that's the one thing I'm not. And he walks away into the skates. 
They're skating over there. I feel like he could get hit by a skateboard very easily, but he's not, he's he's Wade Wilson, Marvin yeah. Moth. He doesn't care. Got it. Goes to the bar. After that. It's it's still I, the skate scene. Superman. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I apologize. Superman. 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 Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, we go back to the bar. Uh, what is it? Saint Margaret's home for the Lost wayward girls. Girls. Yeah, girls. Yeah, wayward yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And basically, this is a Merc bar where everybody hangs out and takes different cards that have different jobs on them and then get paid out by T.J. Miller's character. Mm-hmm. And uh, Wade Wilson comes in. He he's there. Yeah, he turns the thing. He doesn't want their money though. He, this is a good thing he did for a good girl. I don't know why this girl would jump right to like a fucking hitman to stop this guy. I, well, I guess I Maybe. do. But I feel like this is... I, let me dial that back. I don't know why you would jump to like the fucking most hardcore of hardcore hitmen. I feel yeah. like this, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you could get Maybe like... Maybe a PI first. A football, a football player. <laughs> Maybe she'd gone through five people already. Yeah, Maybe that's the thing, yeah. I, you know what? You're a good point. I'm leaving a lot of, I'm yeah. leaving a lot on the cutting room floor. I there. think she did. Yeah. Okay, Maybe good. he has a key from, comes from a family of power and people yeah. are like, I don't want to fuck with that kid. So mm-hmm. pretty he's much as soon as he Mayor gets here, he's like, Johnson. you know what? I'm Dwayne Wilson. I'm here and I, I'm he's not going to take the money. It's going to be great. Uh, give me a blowjob and not the, the blowjob. Give me the drink. Great. Gives it to, it sends it over to another table. That causes a fight between two of the mercs, but the one merc gets knocked down, he doesn't die. Mm-hmm. And, and TJ Miller's like, he didn't die. Oh, no, I mean, because they have a thing on the board called the Deadpool, where people bet their money on who's going to die. What a whole Merc, bunch of celebrities. What on Merc this ain't going to come back? Lindsay Lohan's name was there. Anyone dead? Now maybe. that would be tragic if anybody on the list actually, actually died yeah. at some point. One of eventually, the, everyone on the list got. Yeah, I know. Sure. Yeah. One yeah. of the mercenaries in the in the room at that point, though, is Deadpool co-creator Rob Liefeld, mm. who had a brief appearance in the film where Wade literally refers to him by his name while walking past him. Inside the bar, yeah, uh, implying that he's a mercenary. They give him Very more cool. lines in the second movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, something to look forward to when we mm-hmm. get to the second mm-hmm. movie. Uh, here, though, in this movie, that doesn't happen. Oh, no. And then TJ Miller's like, I just want to win, too. And he bet on Wade. Oh, what a, what a funny coincidence there. But Wade's like, drinks on it, on me, everybody. And, he, and they're all like, ah. And he's like, domestic, not important. Ah. Mm-hmm. And then, so then Vanessa walks over. She's a hooker. Say it the way you say it. She's a, you're a hooker. Yeah, she's a hooker. She walks over and she's like, you sure you want to blow your wad on that? And they have some funny little banter there a little bit. And then they start bantering about their childhoods and how rough their childhoods were and all this that. shit. They start connecting. They realize they're, they are the same kind of crazy. They're crazy. Match each other. Eventually, mm-hmm. we have uh, lines about this and puzzle pieces. They are both unbelievably hot. Yeah. And they have such fucking chemistry right. that like from the first sentence they give to each other, I believe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah. say that for many of these movies. No, nope. yeah. no, they, yeah, they definitely there is a spark there. As Those they say. sex scenes, whew. yeah, yeah. Mm, we're getting there. Hold on, stuff. we're about to get there. We're about to get. Oh, there. I already got there, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drenched down here. Let me Jeez, Jesus Christ. Christ, it's like Florida down there. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Wade agrees to give her some money for however much time. I forget what it was going to be. And like 48 minutes, something, something like that. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. how much did I get? Okay, well, and they go ski balling. They're going to go ski ball over there, and they're going to have a nice little time, and they're going to talk to each other and continue to hit it off and fall in love as you know, putting balls in holes. Them playing skee ball and him just straight fucking throwing him. <laughs> yeah, he's in a there. merc. That's the skill he's got. But that's right. bullshit. The cage would have covered it. Nah, no way. No, you can nah, throw the way he's that. throwing it, he had that angle. He he's a merc. He's merc with a mouth. He's too tall. Right. He's the tall. cage covers. No, he protects those little fucking not. runts from crawling in there. Getting lost in the holes. No, you definitely know what you're talking about. You definitely know what you're talking about. Uh so then he trades in his coins, gets a Voltron ring, she gets an eraser. Funny dialogue here about that. I enjoy that quite a bit. And then he's like, What can I get for this? And she's like, you know, what is it? Like two minutes or whatever. But then it's guess what? They're just in love. And we get the calendar girl montage, which is fantastic. A great song you don't hear enough anymore, number one. Mm-hmm. And then yes, all these sex scenes are incredibly hot, yeah. incredibly fucking hot. Now worth noting that the wig she wears. I'm sorry, is it a wig? I don't know. Wigging out with Scarpino. Welcome back to Wigging Out with Scarpino. I am Scarpino. Mm-hmm. Uh, this movie had three wigs that I could count. Not one, really? not two, but three. One might have been, have been hair extensions with uh, Marina Baccarin. Uh, at the very very end of this scene that Greg was talking about, this montage. Mm. The first one, spiky haired one, not. A fan was that of. a wig? I think it was. It might, I don't have, know. it might have been her real hair. One of those was her real hair. <laughs> it was either she was short and had the wig at the end, or, or I thought it was super weird that in a year her character went from having hair no longer that, than nine. That was her clearly in the well, super. Kevin, if you read the comic books, that is her mutant power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, actually, she grow. does have a mutant power. Now you sound really dumb. Uh, while it's understandable <laughs> that the filmmakers didn't want to overcomplicate things for Deadpool's first solo outing, it is still possible that Vanessa was already copycat. Oh, the character that she is known as in the comics. In one instance, Vanessa claims that she played a lot of roles in her life, but Damsel in Distress isn't one of them, which could be a reference to her ability to shapeshift. That's cool. In another scene, An- An- Angel Dust remarks that she has seen Vanessa before, but where exactly? Might it have been the same Weapon X lab that Wade ended up in? Hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't, probably not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, Screen we could make it. Com. 
No. Uh, anyway, back it. to the podcast. Uh, so the first, there's three wigs that she has here. The middle one I want to give a special shout out to, right? Because clearly she went over to uh, Evangeline Lilly's uh, trailer when mm. she was filming the first Ant-Man. Borrowed that hideous wig she was wearing. It's not a put on her head and it looked a lot better in those this scenes. This is when she's going to This is she's specifically when she's going to penetrate him from behind with mm. the strap on, which is Rectally. a scene that I feel like really spoke to me. Women's Day. And that's it. Uh, I'm just say, I'm saying this right now. Shout out uh, to Marina Baccarin. I hope I'm saying her last name right. Just for having the balls to uh, actually just come through and say, yes, I was wearing a wig. Unlike that liar, uh, wow. Angelina Lilly. Did she say she was wearing a wig? Uh, liar. I feel like it's pretty obvious when you have succession of uh, short hair, medium hair, long hair. One of them's a wig. One of them was a wig. She's not a bash. She's not hiding but from it. But she didn't go what out and say, hey, I'm wearing a wig. What are you afraid of, afraid Evangeline of? Lilly, aside from Nick? Yeah, I, I have not. I, I know. Of There's no. I've not broken any laws that I know. Run. Of yet. I'm <laughs> just saying. Like, you, when you start talking her. shit about the wig sphere, see. Remember, Evangeline Lilly. She was on the balcony with me that one time, and we had a banter. Did you Comic-Con pull her hair? Yeah. Comic-Con. Did you pull her hair? I did not touch her hair. Tell you what, you pull her hair. She turns, turns, turns into a snake. Witches, like that movie, The Witches. Oh shit, that's a fucked up movie. Remember the kid. I can't I even do it. Oh, God. I hate it. Stop. Uh, we look like a young Greg Miller. It's the smoke. So the we go back to the, all the, the back holidays to the and we're having a lot of sex and it is fucking hot, as we've said. The Lent joke, great. Yeah. Where they're not it's having sex because of Lent. Good Catholic That's humor. I, I think that. the humor just hit way more in yeah. this. Well, no, the humor part two. Stop talking about but, part two. Okay, Why are you talking about part two? What are you doing? It's on the mind, you know? It is really. When in Rome. Copycat. I'm like, oh, get out of there. Anyways, the sex scene at Thanksgiving, a bit too much. I can't deal with the food, the mashed potatoes, and the sex getting mashed into this. Really? Thing. Yeah, no thanks. Like but at Christmas, yeah. guess what, everybody? They're there in their bad sweaters. Oh, they're oh, talking oh. out. Uh, she wants them to stick it. Oh, you marry me. Oh, okay. They're going to give me a ring pop. That's good. They had up his ass. A lot of so ass jokes funny. here. Yeah, the exactly. Fucking ass, too. Yeah, great. Have ass. we seen his abs yet? No, uh, we haven't yet. We have not seen his abs. We're yet. about to get abs. to that. Let's get it. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. You're 100% correct. Thank you. So, yeah, she says, yes, they're going to get married. Yay. They make some Star Wars jokes in there. You know, Star Wars, you know, Empire. Haha. But even though it, it, we have to be a new hope, right? It'd be a new hope. Yeah, she was wrong on that. Yeah. It's, she, he's like, Star Wars. She goes, don't you mean Empire Strikes Back? Which is, by the way, it's just Star I mean, he just meant Star Wars as far as yeah, the in general. Star Wars. Yeah, I know. And this was like, there's a couple lines she says that I'm like, ah, I, I don't love when. What was the reference? The, like what were, Yoda, what he, she's wearing him like Yoda on the back. That is Empire, right? Yeah, but no, he no, that's said, not the, he that's says, not the mistake. You're you, lost. Thank you for the Star Wars reference, and she goes, "It's Empire Strikes yeah, Back." Yeah, but to hardcore people, it's not a New Hope. It's Star Wars. Everything she, she's Star Wars. Like, oh, but did they not understand, nice they understand that three better reference. movies be- uh-uh. came before all this? Do they not understand that three better movies that has Star Wars in the title came before I, that? I don't understand. Three better movies came after Fellowship. Two towers. Oh, yeah. oh, the get the don't even get me started on Clerks what, One, though, Two, let's... and then of course the extended Clerks universe. <laughs> let's talk about the Hobbit. Um, <laughs> so then, yay, everything's great. We get some VO from Ryan Reynolds being like, "Hi, you know, your life's only a couple good moments between constantly screaming or whatever, mm. and this has been a good moment. It's going to end." He walks out, takes off his shirt. Mm. Wow. Were they born born in lambs? Now it's time to rank those abs. I gotta tell you. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> now, Joseph, and Mary Christ. But is it better than uh, Mama No, it's not better than, it's not better than Hugh Jackman from Days of Future Past or The Wolverine, but I will say I'll put it right underneath there. As far as if we're talking X Men, he is a solid number three. I, I think The Wolverine solid getting number three. Solid showered number three is behind insane. Hugh Jackman in The Wolverine Hugh and Hugh Jackman. Jack, I mean, okay. two different movies, two Fair. different bodies. Fair. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not easy having that body. Mm-mm. And then keeping it for a second movie that deserves the one and two and three position. I do like that he isn't as jacked as Hugh Jackman. He's cut. That's yeah, what he's I love also about just it. He got that Paul Rudd. Yeah, look, he looks so too. good. Well, dude. he's not. He's. I, I have to imagine he's got that like water polo style body where he's just got the really broad shoulders and he's very the skinny. link. Um, mm-hmm. And you can tell because yeah, I mean he's he's very very defined in this, which looks fantastic. But I don't think he bulked up. For he's lost role. so much weight since Just Friends. It's crazy. Hey man, good for him. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Was he big in that? Oh, yeah, Turns out what? Wade Wilson's got cancer. We're in the doctor's office. We're getting the rundown from there. It's all over. It's terrible. Wade starts to do that thing where you fade off, and he's focusing on Vanessa, who's on to plans A, B through Z. She's doing all that stuff. He's trying to memorize her face. Very sweet scene. Great Very scene. Yeah. good scene. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, by the way, I'm sure we've cut back at yeah, some point to the bridge. To the they keep cutting back to the bridge every so often. Uh, but we're just going to get through a majority. I'm going to get you through this. Uh, he comes back to the apartment with her. He's packing up his shit. She's like, you can't go. This, and he's like, I don't want you to see me like this and, da, 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 and they have more funny dialogue they're burning at peter's uh, coin purse very funny they have the x-men or, or origins wolverine uh ryan reynolds deadpool figure there this is my most prized possession they're not talking about that Did of you course just blow it at me? no i'm laughing sorry i burped 
Kevin hates it. But he, he, well, he burped and I like looked over because he made a noise. And then I felt like fucking air on no, me. No, it was my nose. I was like, like uh, laughing. You guys are like the kids in the back of the car. I'm going to punch in the back of the head. over here. And, and Nick, Tim's in the car next door. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's Uncle Tim is in his car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, smoking a true. doobie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, she convinces him not to leave or so you would think they go to bed he's out of bed he's crying over there he's thinking about all the stuff and how bad it's gonna be he comes back there he gets in bed with her oh no I skipped the part he where they went to they, yeah he left the place he went to the bar there was a dude there for super creepy agent Smith uh, he was like here's this card I can come Quest. do this we're gonna, we're gonna make you into superhero we'll do this blah blah he's like I don't fucking believe you fuck you kind of thing more funny dialogue here of course I, I loved the TJ Miller thing before the conversation of like a guy came in looking for a gay this card Maybe we'll advance the plot. Yeah. <laughs> they just walk over and talk <laughs> down. Like, so funny. Yeah, exactly. Very, very funny. I Another thing, because uh, we're in the bar right now, yeah. and referencing the Wolverine Origins thing, I didn't notice this. But uh, even if you caught the previous references that Deadpool made to X-Men Origins, including the mouthless Wade Wilson action figure, and the scene where Wade warns that Ajax better not sew his mouth shut, yeah, yeah. you still might have missed a few lines of dialogue that were pulled directly from the film. The moment uh, when Wade enters the Sister Margaret School for Wayward Girls for the first time and posts up next to Weasel, I guess his name is T.J. Yeah, yeah, T.J. Miller's character is Weasel. Uh, he talks about how all he ever wanted in life was to travel to far off exotic places, meet interesting people, and then take them out. In Deadpool, Weasel actually helps Wade finish the line, being like, yeah, 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 I've seen your Instagram. And that cuts it off. Yeah. No one would ever notice that because it's not an I think he lists line. places except for that T.J. Friday's place that were in Origins 2, no? Jackson, Jacksonville? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. I think I think the other places are things they went to in Origins, but I could be wrong. Mm. Anyways, his drink's on his tab, and then that happens. Then we go home. He's crying out because he's not thinking about it. It's in his head. Maybe I should do something. Maybe this is a chance. Ends up leaving Vanessa in the middle of the night like an idiot and walks out into his things. That's where we'll cut. We'll jump back. Uh, We're back in the cab. We realize we've forgotten our ammo bag. We only have, we don't have time to go back to get the ammo or the guns, so we only have 12 bullets. We need to make them count. Maximum effort. We pull up there, Deadpool gets out, walks to the overpass, sits on the overpass, draws his little crayon drawing while he listens to Shoop on the uh, shoop, Walkman. Shoop, there you. Yeah, great shoop, song, great song. You. What up, Salt and Pepper? And then, uh, yeah, the whole uh, cavalcade of guys in their SUVs and motorcycles comes through, and Deadpool jumps off Maxima effort through the sunroof in there, and we are off to the races with a great so action good, scene. Man. Am I wrong, Tim? You are absolutely right, and this is where this movie shines second most, because first most, obviously, character dynamics. They do such a great job such introducing job. all these fun little things and making you care about what could be a just total asshole character, yeah. and it's not just comedy. There's some real heart there, but the action scenes are great because... Uh, I love when things have rules. I love when things have limits and and limitations. And that's when you see things uh, work out best, I think. $58 million budget, what's that mean? They need to be crafty. They need to be creative. And they're looking at this and they're like, all right, Deadpool, he can heal himself. Not the most creative of powers. We've already had fucking 10 movies with a guy that can do that. But he's an asshole. He'll fuck people up and won't give a shit. We can get a little more graphic because we're rated R. But that whole thing of like, oh, we only have 12 bullets. How can we make that yeah. fucking work? How can we not need insane CG to sell all this stuff? What's cool choreography? And this whole fucking movie has cool choreography. Super well thought out, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. It's really one of those things like out. we've talked about how a lot of the X-Men movies feel slow. And if you go back and watch a lot of those action sequences, they feel slow. This is the first X-Men movie where it feels like it's an MCU movie as far as the action is concerned. Sure. It is fucking dialed up to 11. It is yeah. fast as it shit. Feels like it is never boring. Sure. It, yeah, it feels like this is the first one that they like. Fox was like, oh, we've learned. I feel we like we got out. hints of it last week in Days of Future Past with the future stuff of oh. when they're all working together and the blink. portals and yeah. blink and right. all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, in terms of just consistency and it actually being entertaining and stuff that we haven't seen before, this movie fucking succeeds so good so yeah cool stuff in the cars Don't he's putting the, cig- putting the cigarette lighter in there <laughs> doing all this fucking this awesome great stuff <laughs> flips the thing we're all over the place gets out there at it. one point sorry hmm? i just one of the things that i really liked is someone shot him in the ass yeah and he turns Up around and like shoots him like four times even though right. he's counting all these Worth right it. down main street <laughs> yeah, yeah and then great he's one. like you guys are gonna have to share <laughs> Before then, uh, I love the fact of when it all flips and stops and the people start approaching with guns. How he puts his hand, he pops up and they all shoot and he comes down and he d- does the whole line about, you know, you might be asking why the suit's red. So again, my enemies don't see me bleed. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. And then, yeah, he jumps out, starts ca- counting off the bullets, eventually gets shot in the ass right down Main Street. Does the awesome one where he jumps over the car and curves the bullet, or not even curves it, just throws it down. It goes one, two and hits the 
glass guy and like hangs on his forehead oh, very painfully. God, that looks so painful. While this has been happening back at the Xavier Institute for Gifted Youngsters, one Colossus is having breakfast already in steel mode and suddenly Russian. Uh, he sees it on TV, realizes it's Deadpool, grabs Nega, Sonic, Teenage Nuclear Warhead or whatever the fuck her yeah. name is. Yeah, right? you got it. Yeah, nailed it. Uh, and they head out in the X-plane to go, the X-jet, Xavier's jet, uh, to come over there and actually see what the hell's up. Uh, so then, yeah, Deadpool's taking those out. He's looking for Francis. Can't find Francis. He's screaming about Francis, 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 Francis. Where would Francis be? Finally, it's a motorcycle. Comes running down the way. It knocks the dude off. Throws him against the wall. Stabs him through the wall. Sticks him to the wall. Knocks off his helmet. This is Francis. De- he shows his face. Now let's cut back to the other side of the story. Other side of the story <clears throat> in the past. Wade goes off with these dudes who's gonna they're gonna give him the superpowers. Uh, that's gonna be all well and good. As soon as he gets there, the place is disgusting and gross. And why would he have done this? This clearly isn't what he thinks. But he's Wade Wilson and he sees no other way out, so he's gonna commit. do this. Uh, he talks. He makes sanitary jokes as well, which I appreciate. Uh, they strap him down and bring him in. And the idea here is we meet Ajax, aka Francis, who we'll find out later, along with who's the MMA fighter? Gina Carano. Gina Carano, who will not call Angel. Fast and Furious Six. Six. Mm-hmm. Yes. She has a, a dope ass scene with Letty where she fights in the in subway. The and oh, yeah. And yeah. Letty throws her down the stairs. Fucking oh, great cool. choreography. That was, yeah, that was a really good fight. That was a good scene. Yeah. So, Angel, as she'll be called there, even though her full name is Angel Dust, but I think we only get it once or whatever. Right? I, did we ever hear Dust? I, I don't only think saw so. That. I think yeah, it might have maybe it was Angel. in the credits or something. Yeah. I saw it definitely when I was. Oh, I think it when I. It must have been the credits. On Amazon, when you post, you get that x ray thing where it yeah, tells you who's weird. in the character. It said Angel oh, Dust yeah. there. Um, anyways, they're there, and there are there's going to be mean to Ryan Reynolds of course because the idea here is they're dicks obviously and bad people and we'll get to that reveal later but uh they're gonna give him this agent that eventually adrenaline spikes will if he has any latent mutant genes in him cause them to actually happen so to do that they have to torture him and so we got a whole montage of him getting the shit tortured out of him or whatever we get the jokes about the super suit you know don't make it green don't make it animated <laughs> haha because green lantern of course it was bad right Her- horrible okay horrible movie. i've never watched it Me neither. really bad well <laughs> really I guess one day we might get there if we ever do DC and review. <laughs> I don't or think whatever. so because that's not in its own cinematic universe. Who knows, man? No, yeah, we'll but it. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, why would you? Why would we put it in there? Well, who cares? Sure. You know what I mean? Have some fun with it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he's getting tortured. He's getting electrocuted. He's getting the shit kicked out of him. He's all bloody. This is where I really thought the abs thing was going to come up because I believe at one point he's chained hands over his head. Yeah, and they're punching. And him this is when you're like, holy fuck! Dude. Yeah, he looks fucking great. Beautiful good job, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah. Congratulations, job. Blake Lively. But also, yeah. great job to the directors of the movie for making the. They're still together. You're thinking of Atlantis more set yeah that's exactly what i was thinking of uh for just being so fucking brutal with the violence and like pushing the rated r yeah, but, shit's fucked up but again it, to me it never felt gratuitous where yeah. it's like with this torture scene it's like they did a torture scene that like felt grounded in the story that they're giving us mm-hmm. and it wasn't just this kind of we can push the bar so we're gonna do it sure so is none of this is working he's not getting agitated he's not you know, spawning his mutant abilities uh we got a scene of him talking to another guy who's held down they're going back and forth with their gross crude humor which is why I wouldn't get along with this Wade Wilson person. But they're having a good time, and finally the other dad breaks, and says, uh, fucking making chocolate chip banana pancakes for my fucking kids. And Wade's like, Vanessa. And then Ajax Gosh, walks in on that conversation. Team. He goes over to give the other guy shit. Wade's like, don't listen to him. His name's Francis. He comes over. He's like, how do you know? He grabbed his dry cleaning tag off or whatever. And he's like, I fucking hate you. You know what I mean? And I, I think, fucking hate you. I think this is where we reveal that they're actually here. They're not making superheroes. Yeah. They're here making super slaves. Like, right. you're going to activate this and give you sold to the highest bidder with a control collar on. They're going to make you do whatever the fuck they want to do. And Wade's like, oh, no, I got got. Um, so he's still there, still getting tortured. And they're like, well, now I'm pissed off because I'm Ajax, but I know you know me as Francis. And, you know, you got a crush over here. She ain't happy about shit. And so, like, we're going to put you in this weird tube, right? And what it's going to do is lower the oxygen level so you, it feels like you're suffocating. And then when you're about to suffocate, we'll give you some to let you not suffocate. And they will keep doing it. We're going to do this to you all so weekend long, and they leave him in there all weekend long. And pretty like, much immediately. Week. He's like, weekend? Yeah, yeah. Um, pretty much immediately he mutates, right? There's yeah. also been jokes about things in his teeth, which were funny this whole time. That was so funny. Uh, yeah, we're, so in the weekend, and he, he mutates immediately, but they leave him in there. They come back the next, uh, I guess, Monday morning. Guess what? He's mutated into this fucking freak. Uh, he, he's got the Deadpool thing. And what it is, of course, is that his, it, by looking at him, pretty much, maybe there's blood tests going on, but I didn't see it happening. By looking at him, uh, Francis is like, wow, you heal. It's fighting your cancer as quick as your cancer can manifest. That's why you look like this turd. Okay, cool. Whatever. Good enough. That's all the reasoning I, I need. Which, like, the whole, the whole thing, someone being like, hey, you've got really bad cancer. We're going to help you find your mutant power, and it's probably going to take care of it. What if his mutant power is just making fire? You know? 
Very solid. Or call. turning into ice. Extremely solid call. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, I think, just I think basketball. Yeah. yeah. Like well, that I, think that was, I think that was the the this is obviously a long shot for you. You've got nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. why not try this? And maybe a one in a million shot that this you you know, A, you have a mutant gene and B it might be able to help you. He turns into Will I Am. <laughs> That's his power. Blink. <laughs> his cancer behind. And then, uh, <laughs> my second Fuck thing you. is, man, every time he's in the just the Deadpool skin. I feel like that makeup is terrible. Eight hours of makeup. Could not lay or sit down. Eight hours of terrible. makeup? Mm-hmm. But I just don't think it looked good. The, the, like, I, I know what it looks like in the comics. And I, just, that, I mean, that was my biggest thing is that yeah. the end, I'm jumping to the end here. They're making out happy ending. Who, who, who would have thunk it? And just talking to Jen about it, I'm just like, he just, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, he looks like he has a problem, but he doesn't look bad. No. Like, at no point, and I understand they're, but I mean, like, Deadpool looks like a zombie, I yeah. feel like, in the comics, yes. right? Whereas this guy, I'm like, I don't, like even the reactions shit. he was getting on the street, I mean, like, what a fu- yeah, bunch of assholes! He's, he's yeah, a burn victim. That. Fuck yeah. off! Yeah. Totally, totally. A barely, like barely a burn victim. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, whatever. Yeah. I don't know about barely. I just think they could have done it better. Up. Yeah, he looks fucked up enough, but a not enough where you'd be like, oh, yeah, hurt your eyes, children. Not enough. Whatever they fucking say. You know what I mean? Anyways, I just in New wish York. they had did a Is little bit of a better job. With that was it. the other thing they hid really well of where they were. No, they were 100 percent in Vancouver. <laughs> but I mean, of what well, city they were supposed to? I don't think they ever defined it. But knowing, I mean, Ryan Reynolds from being from sure. Vancouver, sure, 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 and sure. And then sure, we've sure. been to you see you see all the buildings in the background. They, they shot like all that in Vancouver. I, I get that part. I I, under, I understood it was shot in Vancouver. I thought more of the fact of oh, I, it was, when I was watching this, I was like, Is oh, York? it kind of looks like San Francisco. And they did that event here way back in the day mm. in San Francisco at the bar we did a podcast at years and years ago. Tempest. I got Tempest. that it was supposed to be in New York, but uh, is, is the so. I think it, matters. it doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah, and not to mention, we have no way of knowing because Colossus gets there in two fucking seconds, as you do with the well, Zag- New York, real close to wherever I the hell those are. So Vancouver. I know. Vancouver and New York. Yeah, no, not that's not, not true at all. Vancouver is super. I Vancouver. appreciate you took your shot. I appreciate you took a swing in it. <laughs> yeah. You, you, shot you shot saw the ball. The ball's ball was coming over there. the plate. So the ball's coming over the plate. Bottom of the knife. And you I just got a swing. Canada's not near New York. Vancouver is West Coast. Well, Canada's the whole thing. Tim. I understand. Part okay. of it is near New York. Montreal, okay. very close to New York. Exactly. That's my point. But Vancouver could have been Vancouver. Vancouver is closer to us than New York, right? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Vancouver's yeah. next oh, yeah. to Seattle. It's Vancouver's like a two-hour okay, yeah, Did you know I'm that? I'm just Real double-checking. Did I know that? No. Yeah. No, of course You're, not. Well, do you know where Toronto is? Toronto? Yeah, and that's Toronto. in the middle. Yeah, Toronto. That's in the middle. Yeah, is it in the middle? Yeah. I feel like it's a... I thought that was closer to New York. I learned that Toronto was in the middle so last week when Nick told me. There it is. I, so everyone's just trusting Nick. I love the way... <laughs> Just making I, sure. I love the way Colossus looks in this movie compared to all the other X Men movies. Yeah. I like the. Yeah. I, I like the. the I like the Forever Colossus I like the, too. The the less. Uh, he's dull. The, the, like he's, dull. Yeah, yeah, he's not he's as metallic. Like, yeah. yeah. I love the Russian accent. I love they were yep. like, fuck it, give, give him the Russian yeah. accent. He should be have the Russian. And accent. I love how he's the straight man, the goody two shoes yeah, sort of dude. Like, I thought I, their dynamics so perfect. When's the last time we saw Colossus? X three. Days of Future Past. Days of Future Past. Past. Oh no, Days of Future Past. He got ripped in half. Yeah. Yep. Oh, fucked right. up. He, just, fucked he looks up, too metallic. The, he's the white dude, <laughs> like uh-huh. mid Kid early from 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Colossus. Which I like is that then they go back when since that changed the past, right? That Colossus never existed, and only this Russian Colossus ever existed. Fair. That's right. how I make sense of the timeline. That's how I make sense of the timeline. But I mean, see sure. If you want to. Past. At the end of it, With do we you. see? Oh, that's right. Fuck I mean, I've heard it both ways. I've heard it both ways. He wasn't in his powers then. But I think maybe his, right. is, maybe his power then was just being a buff fuck Ooh, machine. You know yeah. what I mean? Russian. Hey, no, you know no what? Russian. He's not that. That white guy is not Colossus in the in the future. Maybe he is. We didn't see Deadpool's. Oh shit! You're right. Maybe if he unmetaled himself, he mm-hmm. would be the white guy from the other movies. I, I don't think. think he can unmetal himself. Also. I know we're not supposed to talk about the next movie, but in the next movie we see the young first class X Men. Spoilers. I didn't so see there's it no yet. time. Did you really not? I haven't seen that Apocalypse. You haven't seen Deadpool 2? He's lying. I've seen Deadpool 2. That's what I was talking That's about. That's what he's talking about. Uh, <laughs> well, spoilers for people that have Well, how would that be spoilers? Because they're still, they're still in there. We're in a time warp. I'm, yeah. Going yeah, through warp. a time warp. It's time paradox. In their minds. <laughs> Blitzkrieg bop. Yeah, sure. It's a song. That red, right, anyways. Yeah. I'm looking up the remote. It Thank is you, a song. Tony Hawk's Skater 3. I fucking dislike it. That's who the band, and that's the band, Tony Hawk's Sports Skater 3. He's in this oxygen tube. They leave him there. They come back in. Oh, you did it. Great. You mutated. Great. We still fucking hate you. We're just going to leave you in here to do it because we're bad guys. We're bad guys. Good little bad guy speech. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I like Ajax. Yeah. Uh, I like him too. So much better than he has any right to be. Right. Angel, right. who, by the way, Ajax, his mutant ability, enhanced reflexes, 
can't feel pain. Mm-hmm. Strong as fuck. Later on, you'll ask yourself, how does this keep him from falling down Maybe just by face. bleeding out? No answers there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah no answers. And then me. Angel, she is super strong. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Well, he's strong as fuck, too. Toronto, a little more he, East Coast. When he lifts his fucking powers, yeah. when he lifts, lifts his fucking powers, he says, okay, enhanced yeah. reflexes. Right by New York. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. It's Get okay. Montreal over there. Toronto this, uh, right there. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because yeah. Buffalo. Mm, like, we Vancouver, know about Buffalo. Vancouver over here in BC. Yeah. Right? Uh, I know half over here in Saskatchewan. It's near Saskatchewan. Toronto. No, the Shout thing about the, the thing about Toronto, right? it's not on either coast, so it's in the middle. <laughs> it is in the middle. That's true. Um, no, 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 it's by the coast. <sighs> it's by the Great Lakes coast. <laughs> I actually didn't mean, I'm sorry, Nick. I didn't mean to argue there. <laughs> cool, Greg. I'm going to need more to fucking beat myself to death juice. Cool, Greg. Can I have another Diet Coke while you're out getting I'd like some dull beat myself to death juice, too. And all right, keep fucking with him, do this stuff. And so uh, Angel leans over to do it. Deadpool headbutts her in a very sleight of hand way. He opens his mouth, gets the fucking matchstick out of there. You yeah. wouldn't know this. She chews we'll matchsticks, by the way. Yeah, exactly. No, okay, yeah. I mean, I, I liked watching it where I didn't notice this the first time around, right? But I noticed her with it. And then without it, I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, they we uh, Francis is like what's my name bitch and he won't say it and he's like ah oh, fuck, 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 fuck. and shuts it and it's not because he didn't want to say it it's because he had the thing in his mouth oh, fucking smart so man. he pulls it out into the thing He's and then the he mark. then he spits it with perfect accuracy yeah, into his hand and you might say impossible no way to do that do I need to remind you of the skee ball scene shit yeah good he's aim. got skills we've been he's this has skills. been established this is screenwriting one hundred and one Andy take your dick slam it in a book you think and, you oh. could tie a tie with a cherry stem yes. Yeah. A hundred percent. Wait, dude, that she's got skills. Tie. Like, could he tie a necktie with a cherry stem? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. He's got skills. Yeah. All right. I was yeah, how, the same thing. It, like, how does the, is his tongue involved at all there? Hmm? Yeah. So he flicks the match on his thumb. Now, Kevin, you smoke. Is this possible? Can you oh, do this? I, with- I, I- science, science, Fuck me. science <laughs> with Kev. So I'm Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the little stinger of the animated version of Cat Pops up. That sound. <laughs> Wait, what'd you what say? Are we talking about? Can you do it? Can you? Yeah, can you start it. a match? I'm Depends sorry, on... sir. This is science with Kev. Please can stay in the studio, fucking Nick? audience. No. I was gonna say depends on the the matches. You can't just do a regular oh matches. God. You might be able to. He might. No, Thanks, you can't. With your, with your no, no, the no, no. Of the Thanks, the part where you strike the match with regular matches mm-hmm. has phosphorus in it. That's why in Spanish. They're strike anywhere ma- matches though, right? The, yeah, I guess they were. Because uh, if they're strike anywhere, Maybe I've never done it power. with my thumb, but like certainly you could do it against the wall. Okay. I mean, I'm Some sure. Some people do it yeah. against the top of their mouth. Really? Really? Yeah, you never seen that? Fuck. Have you? Yeah. I, I want to go to never the, done. I'm, I'm not crazy. Do they just it 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 to, Yeah, it has to be rigid for for the the stuff to grind together. Because it's a chemical reaction that happens with the matches. Because I feel like everyone else at the table will not be able to relate to me. Okay. Yeah. What's up? Do you have difficulty? Turning matches on? No, not at all. No? No. Is this one of your weaknesses? Oh, yeah. Is it because you're trying to turn them I'm on really bad versus <laughs> striking them? <laughs> I'm not striking it. I'm bad at it in general. He's got it. He's, he's like twisting the wrong way, right, right. way. We're right. usually right. useless in the same way. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, trick, the trick is, if you have trouble doing just like this, mm-hmm. the trick is, you. if you got the ones that fold yep, over, yep, with a match fold book. over, pinch it, yeah. and that'll have it grind again, get the phosphorus. I'll tell you what, I had a lot of match recently, and I did, but then I burned myself. Mm. Can I get the Scared DuPage me. County story song, Andy? Well, hold on. Science, science, science with Kev. The more you know. I'm Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, what's this next podcast? <laughs> the DuPage County story hour. <laughs> okay. DuPage County story hour. We're going to talk about stories in the city of DuPage. Is it a city? It's so good. Hold on, it's DuPage County. Oh. You said that the first Is it a city? Oh, no. Hey, if you shit. are in DuPage County or the suburbs of Chicago on North Avenue in Glen Ellen, the border, border of Glen Ellen, unincorporated Glen Ellen, uh, you know now. Kai's Restaurant. At Kai's Restaurant one day, my, this is where you went for fancy dinners when you, you, know, you had fancy things to do. What do you got? Uh, I was just checking to see if it was the top of the mouth or the teeth, and it turns out I was wrong. It might just be the teeth. The teeth? That you can strike with. I might get to the bottom of this. Don't strike with the teeth. Let's go, to the, let's you go don't back want to DuPage County podcast. Thank I you. I like, can we do Champs Champ? Just so we can yeah, of course. Yeah, cool. yeah, sure. And so, uh, you know, they had matchbooks there, and so young Greg, fat Greg, like super fat young Greg, butterball Greg, you know what I mean? Is like bored with his parents there. Uh, we're some boring fucking thing, some boring fucking, you know, grandma's dinner. I don't know what the hell's right. going on. But I definitely know that I got frog legs, because the frog legs were delicious at Kai's restaurant. I Digress. Oh, you Not ate them. Meat. At Not some point, on them. well, you get a lot though. They give you a lot. They no, feed I'm you. Sure. They I'm feed you. Sure. I'm sure. I thought frog legs work. Was like I got cold feet 
Oh, no, I no, got no. frog legs. No, like, no, what does frogs. that mean? So I went to the bathroom. On my way, grabbed a thing of matches. Oh, Lord. And so I was just sitting. I went into the stall on Pete or whatever. And then I was like, I'm going to light a match. Why the fuck not? You know what I mean? And did the thing where, yeah, you wrap the match around and you strike it in the book. And it came back and then lit all the other matches. <laughs> at which I panicked and dropped it on the ground. Yeah. And then in a flurry, grabbed it by the book and tossed it in the, in the toilet. And oh, there's okay, still smoke you know. something. Oh, yeah. But it like, was like, man, I yeah. almost burned down. Kyle's I thought you were admitting nah. to arson right here on this podcast. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no. I don't admit the crimes like, when I do them, right? About. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. All right, now Andy hit with a champ to champ song. Champ to champ, heart to heart, it's a champs podcast. These fucking idiots on YouTube having like, oh, I drive my teeth off and they're all freaking out. Like, oh, it's gonna burn, oh, it's gonna burn. You wusses. You see him do it? Yeah. And that's champ to champ. Anyways, <laughs> he lights it, he tosses it down by the oxygen <laughs> vent, the oxygen dies out, and then it comes back. It looks like it's going to go out. No, it comes back. The oxygen comes in. Boom. Giant ass explosion. It goes back up. Oh, Somehow, Francis has got time to go up to his room and take off his shirt already. Everybody got clear of the place they needed to be. Giant explosion. Oh my God, what happened? Francis comes running down. It's Guess cool, what? Man. You see the, the, the tank over there. It's broken. No Deadpool inside. What the fuck? Ah, there he is. It's Wade there Wilson. He he's in his little hospital smock, and he's fucking throwing around a fire extinguisher trying to beat up Francis. What do you got for me, Kevin? I'm just wondering, like, that was in the explosion. Like, that became a ball of fire that led to... Like, well, the ball of fire, like, pushed out the thing. But his pants are fine? His pants are totally fine. Weird. They're made out of anti-flammable quartz. They get into a fight scene quartz. here. They're dodging. They're doing. They're kicking. They're fighting. Francis gets the upper hand, though. You know Did what I mean? pants on? No, he was butt naked. Yeah, he okay. was in he the was hospital smock that I mentioned. Yeah, uh, no, 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 he was butt naked. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right? no, a, there's he a was point in the where hospital. he leaps, and I was like, "Fuck, should I pause it to see if I could see his little?" He was in I the remember. hospital he smock. He was butt naked as they fought. The smock caught fire and burned off his body. I don't. What are you? Fu- are you building Legos while you're watching these movies? Yes. This is the eye, everybody. This I is why I, I recap. You all motherfuckers, he's been naked from the start. No, you're right. he so definitely you're wasn't. He was naked at some point. I was no, you, he was not saying that, actually. You can rewind the fucking tape, Tim. Tim, do you look for his thing when he jumps? Have we ever seen right Ryan right Reynolds naked? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Do you want me to Google it? Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's fine. They fight. Yeah. Um, Ryan Reynolds slash Wade Wilson slash Deadpool. He's not in the best shape, obviously. He just got blown up. A lot of things are happening. He's been in this tube forever. I chalk this up to why he gets his ass handed to him by Francis. First of all, he's in the best shape of his life. He's constantly healing. Sure, at but any point, he does, this is all brand new to him. Like, this is all brand new to him. You know what I mean? He's, he has to he, concentrate. He, or else he gets stabbed like Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right through the <sighs> back with a giant up. metal thing. And then, uh, yes, with his enhanced reflexes. Why are you so? Francis, why are you tripping so hard about Francis? His powers want, make no sense. Strength um, is a, a, a reflex. reflex. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You know what? He must have the same strength reflex that Mystique there has, where the barbell drops and she can catch it. Andy Cortez from. Here's what I don't like about this fucking this stab, this impaling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like it would have pushed him into the ground, and then like he would have been his chest would have been on the ground. Maybe no, 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 really, really This fast guy can't be super. No, no. If you go for, like think about it, a bullet doesn't push you into the wall. It goes through you, man. It's about a speed. Speed and size. Force equals speed times yeah. time. He didn't even like also, slide the, down it. He was just like. That's dick. the thing. He's strong. He went and it went straight I'm with Greg through. on this bullshit. Just come up. Are you against him? I don't fucking know. He's stabbed. He's character. there. He's bleeding. He looks over. There's Pancake Man <laughs> laying there with his one bloodshot eye. He was, he was worm. Worm. <laughs> Giant explosion more there all engulfed in flames. Worm? Worm? Yeah. What was his ability? Being a fucking no bitch? I tried Probably to figure living. it out online. Not Probably a lot of people. Was one no, of his no one was saying what his powers was. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. But warm. 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 I'm going to look it up now. Um, He blows up. He It all is fire. We Then it's all smoldering shit the next day. And guess what? From the ashes rises the Deadpool. The naked Ryan Reynolds burned man. He comes up. Holy shit. He's got to get back to Vanessa. And toot sweet. And so, yeah, we go back to Vancouver, which could be New York, which could be San Francisco. And we're walking on the street and we're in our hoodie and we're blending in perfectly, except that everyone there is really rude. And everyone's like, oh, man, this guy's got uh, some kind of skin graft thing. We're all going to fucking really be horrified looking at him. It's not that horrifying. Really bad social skills. Seen so. way worse people than this in the airport. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they well, don't even have problems. New York would make sense. Do you remember that guy whose whole head was tattooed black? I had a great time. Remember in, that? Uh, I think it was terrible. New York. That was I don't crazy. know what you're talking Where about. See that? Lovely people. In the airport. Yeah. Which airport? Uh, uh, LAX. Man, that was terrifying. <sighs> it looked like a it's just a worm. I feel like we were having a good clip through this recap, and then we just hit our normal, stru- <laughs> normal snags. Hey, wait, let Greg no, talk great. for at least no, five fine, minutes uninterrupted. 
Thank you so much. Uh, he sees Vanessa getting something from a, a grocery store. She, he goes over there, but then he hears everybody. And he's like, ah, oh, he can't block out the voices. He doesn't have mental powers. He just hears everyone whispering about him. He's like, oh, no, I'm wackering. I'm an ugly duckling. <laughs> and so he walks across the street to get away and doesn't see Vanessa because he's a cowardly bitch. Instead goes to Margaret's school or whatever where he runs into the wheeze who's going to wheeze the juice. He uh, Weeze finally convinces him to take off his thing. Yep, you are really fucking ugly. He doesn't help at all. He's not a supportive friend. He gives a whole bunch of jokes about how ugly he is, and they go back and forth. But it's funny because they're we good know jokes. They're, they're good, good jokes. Like, That's the like, avocado. Like, you know, like two avocados fucking each other, but yeah, not yeah. in like a good way, like a violent way. Hate fuck. Yeah, like, it's like cathar- That's the only yeah, way I can find catharsis. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. And so yeah, it's decided that guess what? He can't. He can't do this. Francis, we left this out. Is said he could fix him. He's got to find Francis and do it. But he doesn't know where Francis is. Francis is up in the wind. So what he'll do is they'll go through the entire squad, find them that way, piece by piece, person by person, lead it back to Francis. And so then we get a cool montage. Fucking montage with a Deadpool song. A f- song Sexy referencing mother- Deadpool and everything that he's doing. That's good. I like that a lot. I like them like kind of auditioning different suits. You see him kind of have the superhero shitty suit for a bit. He has the wrong color suit. Well, he has the white suit. I love it. Yeah, they explain it right, like from what we heard at the fight, right? He starts in a white suit, gets shot a bunch. It's all red. He thinks, oh, I'll get a red suit. (laughs) He's in the fucking, he's in the laundry room with the Tide pen. And that's for Ruby (laughs) Al. He's just trying to like rub it out. The whole thing's full of blood. One thing I noticed, there's only like one or two licensed songs. Do you think that just went into the budget? Where, Probably. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, because it was only Salt and Pepper and then that other one. Yeah, the 80s one, right? The UTMX. Oh, yeah. oh right, um, right, right. But yeah. it was supposed yeah. to be Gwen Stefani's Hollow Batgirl as seen in the original pitch, and they couldn't afford it. Mm. Yeah, there you that go. Sucks. Perfect. Nailed it. Um, so, yeah, we eventually escalate to the real Deadpool scene. It sucks for DMX. <laughs> like, how much does he got paid? Paid? He doesn't Five bucks. What? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> we escalate to the real Deadpool scene. Uh, Give me five bucks. This, or suit, I should say. Uh, <laughs> the entire montage is great. This is all very funny. Uh, I really enjoy the part where he gets attacked by the two girls. And he's like, is it sexist to hit you or is it more sexist not to hit you? you know what I mean? Fucking Zamboni, dude. Yeah, yeah. Zamboni's hilarious. So yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah. What I love about this movie is it is just relentless with its comedy and mm-hmm. with its jokes. And I would say, just throwing percentages out there, 80% hit, 20% don't. I understand 80%, 20%. I'm just there like, I know this is funny, but like, I don't even know what you're They make obscure old, old, like not even 80s references, like 70s references. And what's mm-hmm. crazy about it is they make comic references and just random ass references and like Canada references. And like the whole time I'm looking at G and she's laughing Regina at things that I'm not fun. laughing at. And I'm like... Do you, and she's explaining I'm like how the why would they even make that joke? Yeah, but I think they did a good job yeah. of like let's just fucking shotgun spray this shit with quality jokes for everybody. Yep. So as we go through this, we do this. We eventually run into Mr. Smith. Deadpool jumps down there, fights a bunch of guys, gets the information from Mr. Smith. Is that guy in Galaxy Quest? Still yeah. kills yeah. Mr. Smith with the same hair, right? Yeah. Interesting choice there. No, uh, which, of course, leads us to the no, uh, overpass. Good. Again, I've hopped around a bit, but you're all happy with so it. You understand. Exactly. One of the like weaker part, points the of the movie is the popping back and forth. I like oh, I like it. But I, I like the part, by the way, we talk about, when I talk about breaking the fourth wall, they did a nice little touch where he's talking to the camera. Where he's like, I'll get it out of you, like where where Francis is. And he p- speaks to the camera. Oh, that's the Agent Smith. Yeah, yeah, Agent pushes Smith. the camera. Like, to really the people cool. who react to it. Yeah, that that's was great. great. <laughs> uh, so yeah, back there, uh, we've got Smith tagged to the wall. When guess what? Colossus and Negasonic, who I'm just going to refer to as that now, show up. Shame. And. Huh? Sinead O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor. Uh, they show up. They throw Deadpool into the car. They fuck with Deadpool for a while. It's funny. Great stuff mm-hmm. here. This great is all great stuff. stuff. You know what I mean? And, uh, of course, while they argue and, and and be mean to each other and do all this different stuff. Is this, by the way, where Deadpool and Sinead O'Connor have the whole thing? Are you gonna say, is it going to be mean or is it going to be silent? Yeah, oh, yeah. Just like, oh, yeah. You, you got, got me in a box spot. here. Yeah. You got me in a box here. And he's, he's like, like yeah. 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 That was it. That was it. That was great. Uh, uh, but was so in funny. all of this, of course, Francis gets away. Deadpool's very angry. Oh, punches God. Colossus, breaks his hand. Punches the closet, breaks his other hand, kicks and breaks his leg, and then he's just landing. You know, <laughs> like, like, all of that is just fear the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's such a oh Nick God, joke. So <laughs> Fuck you, you all laugh at that. <laughs> so the first time I watched this movie, all his little like chimichangas and maximum efforts, I was like, oh man, this is so over the top. But after two movies, I just started enjoying is, it. Is this where is that the chimichanga thing, or is that was that an established thing in the, in the no, I established? Is established okay. before me. Wait, but isn't established from him? 
Who? What? I'm saying, Wait, is, did it come from the movie or did it come from Deadpool comic book? Came from the comic book. Yeah, it came from the comics. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Got I it. Did, I didn't know because I saw a Comic Con. Everyone was like, Chimmy Chaga is this? And I was like, no, I that's don't remember. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool comics. It's a weird thing. Uh, eventually, Colossus is like, They're you're great. coming with me. Handcuffs him. They start this? dragging him away. Deadpool's like, fuck this. I don't have time for this. And cuts mm. his own hand off, jumps it's off. Brutal. It's gross. Super good. Yeah, spins around. Not 20 days. 120 hours. It's great. I haven't, by the way. It's a, it's a good movie. Creeps I like it. me out. The trailer was enough for me. I'm like, ah. It's a stressful movie. Go ahead and uh, eat his own arm off. He jumps. No, that's not how did he it. He cut no. off with a rusty little <laughs> knife. He cut it. He cut it. True story. The bone is especially tasty. Oh, man. When he has to cut the nerve. Stop. I stop. I, I don't like Jesus. it. I don't like it. I haven't watched the movie from purpose. James Franco. James Franco Rogan. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Deadpool leaps off into the garbage truck. The, yeah, the spinning flick you off. I mm. laughed at that. That got a, a real chuckle out of me. Uh, and then, yeah, it turns <laughs> out the, tra the trash truck drives him over to Al's house. That's who he's living with. He stumbles in. Puts on his Crocs. A Ryan Clement shout out if I've ever seen one. He apologizes. Uh, Getting to bleeding the trash. all over your trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's good. <laughs> uh, goes in there, lays down in his Crocs. Is you already see the baby hanging starting to grow. She Which wants to give him back teen. They argue about the IKEA furniture. Such a stupid joke. It's the baby so hand good. is it? And yet it's, it's fucking so is good. the funniest good. thing. And that again to give this movie so much credit, they make the stupidest, Stop. laziest jokes. Lazy. Funny as fuck. They do. They make them so I do, funny. I do want to shout out to the fact that at least someone working on this crew really was at one point into IKEA furniture because all I the, love the all the IKEA where he's like, shit. Nothing's the cute. Like all that shit. Yeah. Fucking, I, I, it kills <laughs> me every stuff. time I watch it. Real good. It's so dumb. So fucking. She makes a lot of jokes about me. I'll hear her masturbate, which is great. You know what I mean? And he's like. You're gonna do after they have the resolution. He's like, you're gonna need to give you some time. It's gonna look so big. It's gonna. Yeah. It's gonna. Yeah. I, bet, I bet this well, baby hand makes it. There's the huge. moment where they're like kind of cuddling together, and he like puts his Caresses hand on her chin, yeah, yeah. and she's like, "What the fuck is you, happening?" Am, am I? Is she like, "I high or whatever?" So yeah, that, right, we've established that, and now we got to get back to business. We got to find Francis again. You know what I mean? And uh, we go back and talk to T.J. Miller, I believe, at this point. Right? Mm -hmm. well, I think don't they come over to the bar? Don't they? Doesn't Francis? Right, come to the bar that's first? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they know that Wade Wilson's alive because of everything that happened on the highway. He's heard the name Vanessa. So yeah, Angel and uh, what's her nuts show? Or, no, Angel and uh, Francis. Francis show back up. The, all the gun, the guys turn the guns on them, which is cool. I'm glad to see that. But they find mm -hmm. the photo all the same. No big deal. Uh, TJ Miller calls, lets him know what's happening. All right, well, fuck, we got to protect Vanessa. We go to the strip club she works at again. And titties everywhere. Yeah, it's a good amount of titties. This whole fucking scene, I just thought was expertly crafted. As expertly. soon as you come in and Stan Lee's the Stan DJ? Stan Lee as the goddamn yeah. DJ. Uh, Stan Lee had one complaint about the cameo, is that he didn't get to spend enough time on set with the dancers. Of course, fucking good Stan old Lee. Stan Lee. <laughs> God bless you, Stan. <laughs> Going on record God bless you, Stan. saying that. <laughs> Oh, man. 26 this case out, right now. 2016 yeah, was a different time, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Remember when he made Stripperella? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Pam that Anderson. Thing. Pam he Anderson. did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that good? Art. No, no, it was art. No, no, no. Uh, so we go there. Uh, Wade walks up behind Vanessa. He can't do it. Goes to the bathroom to psych himself up and do all this different stuff. Meanwhile, uh, Vanessa's boss comes over like, hey, there's some guy who mentioned your, an ex-boyfriend or an old boyfriend wants to meet you in the dark, rainy back alley. That seems like totally somewhere else and uh, a woman all by herself. I'm a strip club manager. Yeah, fucking weird. That was weird. But... I love the scene of him in the bathroom because him psyching himself up in the exact same way we see Deadpool psych himself up. That's why I feel like they are the same mm. character. Mm. No, I do. I just feel like they're it's it's exaggerated when he's in the suit. Like I feel like he goes a little more crazier in the suit than when he's when. Well, he, I think it's because he's doing crazier things. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I loved it. I don't know. I love that scene and him like doing the maximum effort, looking in the mirror, psyching himself maximum up. Maximum effort, Fucking great. So yeah, guess what? It's the bad guys outside. They abduct one Vanessa in her stripper outfit or a uh, cocktail waitress in a strip club outfit. Uh, Wade comes out. T.J. Miller is, you know, at the front row. He's like, "Oh, she went out back. Go get him, Tiger." A oh, fucking Spider-Man reference. Not really, but some people say to each other. Yeah, people say I mean, it that. definitely is. Yeah, but I mean, people say. It. No, I call Kevin Tiger all people the time. Say. He calls me Tiger I all the time. I call my little Peruvian <laughs> No one Tiger. says it that he, isn't he making a Spider-Man reference. Nah, I say go get no him, Tiger. No single person in history. Roar, no tigers in South Mexico. I say wow. get on all fours and no roar, Kevin. He does say that. He does say that. Guess what? He's gone. The burning Ned's Peter's coin Porsche is out there. Fuck, we lost him. They're fucking lost in the wind. We go back to the Deadpool house. He's freaking out, yelling fuck and beating shit up or whatever. Get every gun in the place. We're going to go get this motherfucker. We're going to find it. Oh, okay. Well, they, they start collecting all the guns. It's funny. You know, Al's got a little white one. Deadpool wants to take that for sure. This will come back later. Yeah. We understand yeah, yeah, yeah. this. You know what I mean? They're going to be about to say. 
Uh, great thing of them assembling everything and, and him getting ready to leave. And TJ Miller just with the, I'd come with you, but I don't want to. <laughs> I, like, I got to use that more because that's a great it. fucking line. God bless him. And then when they leave and she, he turns around, he's like, you want to get fucked up? <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> great. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we get back in the cab. Oh, we go to uh, we get in the cab, of course. Then we go to the Xavier Institute for gifted youngsters. Because again, where is this thing happening? Who cares? Doesn't matter. We get there. This is where I knock on the door. Negasonic opens. Colossus is yelling. Come on, guys, we're going on a mission. And he has the amazing fucking line. Like for me, the line of the movie is like, "It's weird that I only see you guys at this giant thing. So it's almost like the studio funny. couldn't afford other X Men." Uh, awesome. Real quick, I, at some point when they're on the taxi. Dupinder's telling about his problem with the boyfriend, right? Or yeah. his, his way cousin. back. Yeah, yeah, way back. Yeah, yeah. You're not his cousin. Well, that comes. It is his cousin. Oh, was it? Yeah, his, I think so. his, uh, his romantic foil? Who, yeah. who took his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which comes back Fucking at the end great. of the movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, like right now, right? They hear him in the the trunk, yeah. There it is. Yeah. There it is, there it is. But I love it. <laughs> no, he's got the great laugh. Like, I loved it. He's well, like, it I did one time. not tell you to do that. <laughs> he's like, good job. He's like, great job. I love the. I, I forgot to mention the when we we're talking about on the highway scenes where he mentions they're like, all right, let's take him to professor or whatever, and he's like, which one, McAvoy, McAvoy or, or Stewart? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. I love Timeline's that line. Confusing. Yeah, that was exactly. Really, really good. Um, and then the there's also a small line when they finally the scene that we just mentioned when they get to um, the institute and. She makes fun of like, oh, did, are you gonna go have the early bird special dinner or whatever? What's wrong with that? Like, yeah, I love like, oh, what's wrong with uh, you know, being eating before sundown and before they <laughs> save money, <laughs> save money. I love that line. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so these three, oh, well, of course we've cut back to see them all yelling at Vanessa, like, ah, oh, it's like you got the wrong idea, like y'all even see my boy, he's been gone for. I thought he, I thought years is mentioned. You keep saying one year, and I then think it was months. <clears throat> it was well, it was years. definitely one year from when they start dating to her hair being super long. Cause it was, it's they start. What was the first holiday they're fucking at? Pretty much Valentine's oh, Day, right? Valentine's yeah, all right. To, and to then Christmas. the last one is Christmas. So about a year. But her hair is even longer in the in the in this scene. No, it's yeah, hundred percent. It's hundred percent it's, it's longer. Uh, I thought you had it. Pull it up, dude. Uh, so yeah, they're bad guys. That's what's happening. Great. Okay, cool. Uh, the cab rolls up. We have the stuff with the guy in the trunk. Okay, cool. They get out. They start walking to the DMX song. It's great. And then, yeah, it's uh, cool looking. So also, we're walking up to like basically a shield helicopter, but it's not, but it's really, but it's not, 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 but it is, but it's not, but it is. Originally, it was just going to be at a, at a warehouse. Yeah. And they're like, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to do it. We're not going to call attention to it, but people are going to know. It's yeah. Bold yeah. they do that. It's yeah. some shit that they could definitely get sued. Cool, but, though. Nah, nobody's going to sue. 100% sure, ah. man. Uh, midway oh, no, through the walk, though, uh, Negasonic's like, wait, where's your bag? And he's like, fuck. And he calls uh, the cabbie. Cabby doesn't, he tries to answer, drops his phone, car accident, the guy's in the back, the trunk gets hit. Dead. Uh, fuck, fine, we'll just do it this old way with swords or whatever. They walk up, uh, they yell down, they deploy their guards. He's like, I'm going to spell out your name, Francis, with these guys. Then we just go to it. Everybody starts fighting or whatever. Uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, Angel jumps down with the superhero landing when he's like, she's going to do superhero landing, superhero landing. He doesn't. Knees. Yeah, exactly. Which will come back to play in Deadpool 2. Andy would say that if it was here. Um, yeah, she runs up and fucking lays out Colossus, which is awesome. I'm like, whoa, really bye. Awesome. we finally get to see Negasonic start using her powers, throwing cars around, shit. Oh, fuck. And then, yeah, Deadpool's fucking up all these guys. Oh, fuck. He's a one guard Bob. And then he knows Bob at the end, yeah. From Hydra. Exactly. Ever wonder why Deadpool stops mid battle to catch up with Bob, one of Ajax's henchmen who he hasn't seen since the TGI Fridays in Jacksonville? <laughs> While this moment may seem like nothing more than a comedic beat that helps break up the climactic battle, this character is actually one of Deadpool's closest frenemies in the comic, as well as well as a character they probably weren't supposed to include in the film. Bob was once an agent of Hydra who was convinced by Deadpool to leave the terrorist organization so he could use him as a pawn instead. Of course, Hydra has a big part in the MCU, which explains why this character has been robbed of his full name and his iconic comic book appearance for this Fox film. Cool. Pretty cool. Knocks Bob out. Does all the stuff, lays out, spells out Francis. I love that because he spells it out, but the last, the, like one of the letters, I think the I has the guy with his butt yeah, in out. it. Yeah, out, yeah. It's fucked up. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're gonna fight now. Meanwhile, Colossus is still fighting Angel. We get the fun scene where her breast is hanging out, and he's like, "Oh!" And she's like, "Oh man, oh. thank you." And just fucking nails him in the cock. Yeah, bang. Yeah, right, right awesome. in the fucking baby maker. Uh, yeah, Negasonic's still there. She's helping out a bit though. Every so often, she catapults mm -hmm. him up. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Deadpool runs over there, gets catapulted up there. Here comes a big fight scene. Uh, they brawl and fight, and for a while, uh, Lady Vanessa gets thrown back in the tube that we know well from making his powers happen. Uh, Deadpool immediately throws a sword in there that let, lets some oxygen. Mm -hmm. She uses it to cut herself out. They're all uh, they're fighting. 
Good uh, fight. Yeah, great fight. Francis grabs the two uh, two axes. Just like, oh, that's yeah, cool. So that's two cool. swords versus axes. Cuts one of the sword, his other sword up, and then stabs him in the head with a dagger. And while the and what I love it, there, here's a little tiny fourth wall break where the song gets all fucked up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, the song like, starts good, right? And then yeah, then it gets fucked up. Yeah, it gets yeah. fucked up as his like head, as his brain can't process we, it. Correctly. We also get the weird unicorns, and it's this like, oh man, this shit. is very Deadpool. Yeah, that's yeah. very Deadpool yeah. comic book oh, cartoon. God, it's so good. And then he just like he pulls it out, and the song comes back into like mm-hmm. into normal yeah. speed. That's yeah, fucking yeah. great. They fight some more. Everything's happening. Yeah. Then meanwhile, on the floor, yeah, uh, Colossus is about to get fucking KO'd or whatever. So Negasonic goes Negasonic. Which then sets off a chain reaction that takes out the ship too. The ship starts falling. They toss Vanessa into the tube to save her. They all fall down. Yay! Uh, Angel's knocked out. Colossus has got that cover. Actually, Colossus walks away with uh, Negasonic and her, clearing clear of the blast for a second. They're alive. Yay! Uh, they they pull back the thing, get Vanessa out. She's alive. Yay! Weird shit though. I mean, whatever. Movie bullshit. But like, why would the tube help? Yeah. yeah why would the tube help? What was the plan uh, there? Because the tube falling. Yeah. Then really glass really tube, the yeah, shock yeah. Or whatever. It was thick glass. It wasn't going to break. It was already it, the integrity was already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 About her yeah. head bouncing around. Look, the flash. important thing is she's fine. We'll kill her in the next movie. And then Let's guess what? On. Wade pops up. He's like, "Yeah, that was great." Boom, gets tackled by Francis. They brawl one more time, and then he breaks Francis's arms finally, and oh, like boom. lays him there. And it's like, "All right, yeah, you're just a human who can't feel pain." Seems like this shouldn't. Your reflexes. You got your strength reflex. I understand. The heart too. No, it right? is that. I think it was the stomach. And earlier when he was laying in the highway? No, I think that was, I oh, think that was, was more up chest. here. Yeah, it was yeah. up here in your collar. Maybe one lung. Still, no, don't get me wrong. He probably should have bled out. The heart? Oh, closer to the middle home. than you think. Mm. What are you going to do? Uh, anyways, here we got it. Ready. Deadpool reaches into his crotch, brings out the white gun, and Colossus comes in with his four to five moment speech of how to be a hero or whatever. Beautiful and I speech. love it. I love it when Deadpool and Francis like look at each other, and Francis is like rolling his eyes or whatever. Of course, Deadpool blows him away. Colossus starts throwing up, which is great. He's like, I'll keep a look out for the other yeah the next four day. moments yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he say what's my name or say my name is like, I don't give a shit or like, something like yeah, that yeah before he shoots yeah, yeah. that's when he cocks matter. the gun or whatever, and, you know, whatever. Um, then uh, yeah Vanessa runs over they have their moment they're talking about this I, it's been, he says it's been a rough few two a rough couple of years which is what threw me off I thought they were a part longer but I'm not arguing it I'm not gonna put it on the court, the case Good. Um, eventually let me see your face no I'm not, let me see your face takes off the mask it's a Hugh Jackman people magazine face so staple there yeah. <laughs> Very, funny. Very Good. funny. They take that off. She's like, you know, after a few drinks and a lot, of, a period adjustment and a lot of drinks, I'll, it's a face I'd be happy to sit on. They start making out so or good. do make out so or whatever. Hard. And then like the Negasonic and Colossus, so he's like, go away. What are you doing? Well, they make out. Camera pans out. Happy ending. Hooray. And the movie mm-hmm. fucking ends. Which, shout out to the movie for having the balls to be like, we don't need another scene at the fucking mansion. No. We don't need some weird we wrap them up. Back in the like, apartment. They no. end the movie where the final battle happens. Yeah. That is a Bold. rarity. They don't Bold have any more, have more money. Move, and they did they're it like, we don't hard. have any more money to see another scene. We're done. And they're like, yeah, I'm doing a zoom out scene. All oh, they had narrating it. Fucking great. All yeah. they had was enough money to recreate the hallway from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yes. For the post credits. <laughs> so good. Which is so good. Which was if you didn't think that Nick loved this movie before this sequence, you sure as fucking shit better know he loved it after this. It was brilliant for multiple <laughs> reasons. One, referencing the most famous fourth wall breaking movie ever, mm. I would argue, yeah. with Ferris Bueller. Oh, yeah. So that was great. Doing the chicka chicka at the end, chicka. awesome. But more than that, it actually did. Uh, what my two favorite things of post credit scenes do, which is make me laugh and be funny, but also get you hyped for the next. Get us hyped for the next one by doing the tease of him coming back and being like, "Yeah, the next one, Cable's gonna be in it." Don't know the actor yet, but we're we're gonna figure How it out. How funny is it's gonna be that? Good. Like that was probably too. They had at that point they probably were like, "We're hopefully we'll make hopefully a we'll next one." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and. It sounds like a franchise yeah. when they name him Deadpool. Uh, to be fair, they could have easily just said it and then if it had tanked, or they did another one and wanted to go a different direction, they could have made a joke about it. Totally. It's gone right I now. I love that now that we know the future, it's yeah. like, what a great fucking tee up. Yeah, they came through so on good. it. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Good movie. Fun moments. The right. end. The end. Ragu. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ragu Bagu. That's Rad Guys Talk Bad Guys. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside my one and only co-host, Andy Cortez. Hey, what's up, Greg? How are you feeling today, man? I'm feeling good. How are cool. you? I feel great. Yeah? yeah? We are going to rank the bad guy, Francis, alongside his partner, Angel, on our list of bad guys. Our list of bad guys includes everyone from our hit show, MCU 
in review and every movie we watched since then. It's getting a little outrageous, and we should probably end it after XCU. I've decided, or what? clear the list and start again. No, I what? was thinking just uh, just uh, put everybody in XCU in their own list. Well, it's too late. We, it's Wait, too late. We crossed that. We crossed that threshold. I mean, you know? oh, we can still do number it. twenty-seven. These fucks from Thor two. Number twenty-six. These ducks shit? from Wolverine. Number twenty-five. Abomination. Sure. Number twenty-four. Ronan Guardians. Number twenty-three. Cross Ant Man. Number twenty-two. That lady from Ghost. Twenty-one. Magneto slash Phoenix X three. Number twenty. Loki Thor. Number nineteen. Obadiah. Number eighteen. Mandrich slash Aldrich. Uh, number seventeen. The Vision from Solo. Number sixteen. Mass slash Dormammu. Number fifteen. Magneto and Brotherhood. Uh, fourteen. The Dink Sentinel. Number 13, Rockwell slash Mickey. Number 12, Red Skull. Number 11, Ultron Ultron. Number 10, Hydra, Captain America, Winter Soldier. Number 9, Striker. Number 8, Baconator, First Class. Number 7, Ego, Guardians 2. Number 6, Hell slash Grand Mass, Thor, Rag. Number 5, Loki, Avengers. Number 4, Bacon Guy, Civil War. Number 3, MBJ, BP. Number 2, The Vulture. Number 1, Thanos, AIW. Andy, when you think of Francis... And you think of Angel. Where do you think they go? It's number six, man. What? That high? Yeah, man. They no, were good. I no. enjoyed them. I mean, I just didn't. Th- I, I. It's not that I didn't like them. I just thought that they were just fine villains. I would with say. With no really crazy cool motives or anything that I really gave a shit about. Well, we um, say we want smaller things. You know what I mean? Sure. I, I, I I'd like put them b- below they Rockwell and Mickey. They were so evil? you're saying 14. Damn. Yeah. It's way too low. I right? was saying 12. 12 uh, underneath, underneath Ultron, James Spader fucking killing it, you and above Ultron Red was Skull. better than them? Or, yeah. I'm just listening to my co host. I don't listen to the audience. Yeah, while I do this yeah. Show. Thanks, thanks, Greg. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to go with that. that cool. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Ah. I just find Rockwell I'm and Mickey more entertaining. Gonna fucking that's fine. End. No, the show's not ending. We're just gonna right, have to whatever. reset the list. That's yeah. ridiculous. Reset the list. Reset it. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, it's like gonna be like how they're gonna reset the XCU the when they bring it over to MCU. We'll that's see. all it has to be. God, I can't wait for that. <laughs> can't wait for that. Nick is joining us at the perfect time for Cool Greg to bring up our ranking of the X Men Cinematic Universe. Number one currently, X Men: Days of Future Past. Number two, The Wolverine. Number three, X Men: First Class. Number four, X Two. Number five, X Men: The Last Stand. Number six, X Men. Number seven, X Men Origins: Wolverine. Where does Deadpool? Do you want to still be on the page, or do you want to, or on it, or no? No, no it's fine. I thought we usually leave it up. I think it's pretty obvious where this one goes, guys. Welcome to the number I. three slot, Deadpool. Number Are you kidding three. Me? I want to. I mean, Holy I want to have. I want to have a real conversation about. I know it's a joke. It sounds like a joke, but like, how are we grading these movies? Are they yeah. superhero movies? Are they com? I mean, like, and I and I don't mean to wait it that way. I just feel like as. Superhero comic book movies. I definitely think Days of Future Past was better, and Wolverine's where I waver. But I, th- I, I feel like I went the opposite of you, where I went in and watched Deadpool twice in theaters. I was like, "Wow, this is so different and cool and great." And then watching it last night, I was like, "Still a great movie." I'm not taking anything away from it. I'm just like not as into this as I was Wolverine or Days of Future Past. Mm, interesting. Well, I'm blown away. I, 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 I can think see this that. This is though. such a good story, and it's contained, mm-hmm. and it like from top to bottom works, and it fits in the universe mm-hmm. overall. Not- not perfectly. So None of these movies fit. Perfectly. Of course, yeah, that's what so I was gonna like, say. Colossus what? weird. Oh, I'm not even arguing weird. any of that stuff. I think with this but movie, it's like, does... I feel like with Days of Future Past, uh, for uh, it being number one right now, and I, I think we all agreed about that last week, yeah. right? It's like, yeah, it is the best X Men movie so far. Uh, but I still argue it's not that great. Yep. I think Deadpool is great. Absolutely. And not only that. So one of the things that we like we're supposed to like keep in consideration is how this overall fits in the universe and the fact that like this is such a badly built universe and that this totally mocks that I think fits in perfectly with a the character and b the fact that it's a non-structured broken ass universe that doesn't none of the movies really follow but I feel like that same argument is made for days of future past of like cool we're trying to unite two things that aren't perfect yeah, but we're already the they were we ignoring stuff from first class as as much as I love this movie, I could be convinced to put it below Days of Future Past, but I, I still like enjoy the hell out of it, and I think it's. Oh still, no no no! And that's my thing yeah. is this isn't me saying sure I don't. Top 10. I don't like. It. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, well, I was looking at YouTube comments today. A lot of people behind you on that one. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to take anything away from Deadpool. I I think Deadpool is a great movie, but even now, I'd be more excited to go back and watch Days of Future Past again than I would <sighs> be Deadpool. Not that I don't <sighs> like Deadpool. I just think Days of Future Past it's, is a more exciting, interesting it was comic such movie. A long yeah, I think that movie that like well, it's because we watched Road Cut. But yeah, yeah. sorry, Kevin. Go ahead. Well, I mean the dro- the Road Cut. What you said it was like 15, 15 20 minutes. minutes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I still thought it was slow and kind of long. I liked it. Don't get me wrong. Me and too. out of the list, I do think it's. That list, it should be first. 
But I just this movie was so much fun. Yeah, and it was a fun movie, yeah. I for, just don't think it was a better comic like, book I think movie. the effects, too, were great. And I, I think agree that, with that, too. that for it being a Deadpool, Deadpool comic book movie, like, it was amazing. Like, and that, that, that is what a, I expected. It being a comic book. I yeah. think it was an amazing comic book movie. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, it's not an X-Men I guess I, I, you know what that's movie. actually an interesting point yeah. you saying for being a Deadpool you comic like book movie it's great like, no no I just oh, like, okay. I think I like a more grounded serious comic book more mm. like in the same way of like I've read a bunch of Deadpool and I like Deadpool but I would never think to put Deadpool in my like here are the top 10 greatest graphic novels or characters or storylines I've mm. ever read would I put it there mm. I'm going to be pulled way more towards a and I know I'm throwing out like Titans here, but like Kingdom Come, right? Or like something like even Spider Man's Ezekiel saga, right? Of yeah. like, here's like a grounded. I like that. Deadpool, stick with me. It isn't exactly. I don't get all aghast and yell at me and talk me down. It's not exactly one note. Clearly, there's there's character development here and emotions and this, that, and the other. But I feel like it's still really high in that comedy register, right? Of like, ah, does anything really matter here? Whereas I feel like Future Past, Days of Future Past, in particular, like I'll just make the argument for that one of like, yeah. has the comedy, but has the drama, and has still has Fastbender being Fastbender, and then it has uh, Quicksilver being Quicksilver. McAvoy's and, so good. And the the, uh, uh, the dueling uh, time periods, and then the unification of Wolverine, where I just think. That for me is a more enjoyable comic book. Actually, more emotional I, resonance for sure. sure. I just, I, I mean, I disagree with the emotional resonance because I think, like I was saying earlier, I feel like this movie shows the best uh, romantic chemistry we've seen in the XCU at all. And beyond that, I think just the supporting cast, like there's a friendship between the Weasel dude and him that I feel like shows. Mm-hmm. And it is a lot and of it is opinion. comedy, but I, I think the comedy works. This movie succeeds at everything it tries to do, yeah. and I think that's the most impressive thing. It succe- succeeds at telling a good story, and it, it works throughout. It succeeds at having a good supporting cast. The action is fantastic and understands its limitations that I don't think any other X Men understands its limitations. Mm-hmm. When we start seeing the wire work and all the complaints we've had, mm-hmm. it's because they're trying too much. And I feel like this this movie. But did you have the wire work com- complaints with Days of Future Past? Yeah. yeah. So, so did you bits and pieces here and okay. there? But I, like, I didn't. But it's it's. I think uh, like yeah. Think, wire work Sorry. no. But in terms of we definitely like, the Sentinels. I know you guys weren't a ha- fan was, of how the Sentinels the action, action yeah. perfectly choreographed. No, I did think they bit off more than they could chew, mm. and mm. I think that showed. But because of the universe that Deadpool built, yeah, I think that in every single aspect of what they were trying to do, it succeeded. And for it trying to be a comedy and trying to push the the um, limits of what an R-rated movie can be, like I've been also saying in this whole review, they did a good job of not going too far in any of those directions. Mm-hmm. See, I would argue. I, I, I agree with you. I think it, I think it nailed everything it was trying to do. But I would say the one the one uh, fallacy for me, the one critical point for me rather, is that I don't think it tells a good story. I think it tells a serviceable story. I think True. the story all it does serves is to move from fun point to fun point to fun point. And you even said so yourself at the end. They're like, we got nothing left. We, there's no reason to draw this out any longer because brevity and as being the soul of wit, let's just keep this as short as humanly possible because there's not much here. And I mean, there was, I'm, I mean, there was no B plot. Yeah, and that's and this thing. again. And I think that was part of the fun of this movie. Mm-hmm. And I think I think this movie. I'm not. Uh, you know, I don't. I think this movie really does push the 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 envelope as far as like what X Men or like this universe should and can accomplish. And I think they learned a lot from that. My only argument against this being number one is that I think X Men: Days of Future Past has so much more complexity to it. Yeah, and and it's got so much more character development I, to it, and all the dynamics have matured now from yes, not great films. But I really feel like this was one of the first times I look at Wolverine and go, God, he fucking nailed this. I love uh, the dynamic between. I think the the dynamic between McAvoy and Fassbender really do mature in this, and I think it tells, all told, a much more intriguing and more interesting story. It's also the thing too of I and I agree with all that in terms of the story and the complexities in that. And I think a knock against Deadpool's story is the fact that. You're not that ugly. You're showing your face to T.J. Miller. Why wouldn't you do yeah, the person you love? Yeah, but I think those limitations on how much money they had to sure, make well, him Sure, well, I mean, yeah. I feel like there's other... I don't yeah. mean the the makeup itself as much as the storyline of, like, really, you want to just talk to the well, woman you love? I mean, it's, it's, just like, yeah, it's complicated, because in, to in the too, comics, in, he very much looks like there's chunks missing out sure, of him, and he but looks that's not more here. of a zombie. And then in, when he's yeah. talking to Francis, right, I found, I found this interesting, that he pulls up his mask. You remember me? You're, like, you're going to help me fix this. He says that on the bridge and Francis gives no reaction whatsoever. And it's not until the very last scene where he says it again. Francis is like, what? And laughs like, oh, you really think I could do that? And like, that, that was an interesting swerve in that point. Yeah. In terms of the storyline. I, I agree with what you're saying of De- Days of Future Past being a much more complex and interesting story because it absolutely is. Deadpool is, you're right, not a good story, but it is a complete story. Mm-hmm. I feel like Days of Future Past didn't fulfill it. It didn't, um, succeed at telling the complex story there was elements that were there and like the character development of some of the main characters was great but then there's other characters like beast and you're like 
You are a main character, and you suck. Well, they they should have just left. Just leave my home. But there's, but there's so <laughs> many give, give a little doggy dish, give him some yeah. food, some water. Like, <laughs> just, yeah, we got this one. You stay back. Hang back, buddy. Hang back. Hang back <laughs> see what Watch out for the lock up the mangoes. I think you make a great point about how Deadpool does succeed in everything it's trying mm-hmm. to do. It reminds me of like a really small indie movie that yep. like mm-hmm. you had no idea would be as good as it was. I hear you. Hold on, hold on. I hear you, and I agree with all that. My prop, my one, and this is what I was asking earlier, earnestly, is like, yeah, I believe, but I think it sets the bar low for what it's trying to do, and it succeeds. That's Which, all. And so, like, I mean, so it's comic book guess, XCU I movies. I guess my thing is though, like, yeah. I give. You'd that, rather have that. I'd rather have you succeed at something you're trying to do than try to do way more and not succeed. And now, would you agree that, that I think Days of Future Past succeeds more than it fails? It's close. Okay, I would but say yeah. uh, rewatching it is three weeks ago. I would have been like, oh yeah, definitely rewatching it. I'm like, mm, mm-hmm, not so much. Mm-hmm. I will it's say close, though, though, it does. There's a, the one thing that it has working against it going Which in one? that I think it does uh, Days of Future Past that I do think it overcomes is that it has to retcon a lot of the crap that came before it and combine a lot of the crap that came before it. But and it didn't do it, a great job. Yeah, with that. it I doesn't do. But but I think it. I think it succeeded. I just don't think it did a great job with it. Like at the end, it's still v- incredibly gratifying to see all of that come together and be like, oh. Okay, we're, we're clean slate. We've mm-hmm. cleaned the slate now. We, we ha- we're stuck with some of the actors and whatnot, but we don't have Cyclops, Cyclops dying for no fucking reason in, in yeah. like at the beginning of the third one. Uh, the Dark Phoenix thing is totally gone. We're, it's, it's done. It's done. So, but it just—I guess the problem with it is it doesn't answer any of the questions we had from the other movies. Professor X died in three, and at the end we see that he kind of trans like gets a different body. Maybe who knows? Tim, he's got powers too. He's got powers. You see what I'm saying though? It's, it's like <laughs> Days of Future Past, it did a great job of completely retconning at the end. Sure. But in terms of the actual movie, no, we just see Magneto and Professor X hanging out in the beginning of the movie in the future. And you're like, How'd you get there? How? Yeah. That's true. It doesn't That's answer true. questions. It it's doesn't true. solve anything. Yeah, well, at least then then I'll go back and say at least it doesn't ask any more questions that we want answered. Is that fair to say? Well, the mystique stuff at the end. But like yeah, anyways. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. We'll see that. I, I do think that's it's very interesting to know. I just feel too. like, but I mean, like, in the universe they've set up, which, don't get me wrong, is not Some nearly as locked in as MC or anything else, I feel like you can, I mean, Magneto wiggles the piece, right? Okay, so his powers came back. Professor X puts himself in this body that we've never really seen, so, of course, it doesn't look exactly like Professor X, but is it as easy as that Professor X is projecting off of How him looks, all yeah, the maybe. time that he projects in that from his other this new body that has similar limitations in terms of uh, being wheelchair bound is he's projecting into your mind that he always looks like that is it yeah, as simple it is, as it is that easy yeah. but someone, that's a one sentence that they needed to put in the movie if that was the answer mm. like, I really like with the amount of flashbacks well, sorry, that Days of Future Past had to yeah, other yeah. movies explaining things because they knew how much history they had yeah. they didn't do that they could have yeah. they really easily could have especially with all the time phasing powers and like shit that they had to explain in all that exposition, that I feel like Days of Future Past, what it did best was handle exposition. They had the B-roll to support it, and it told a good story. They could have added any of that. I guess it's just the story. shitty thing of, from a Hollywood exec, Fox exec, I'm assuming that they chalk that up to, we have so much to do, we don't want to scare off or, scare off or uh, give them too much to process. Mm-hmm. And I also think the fact that I can come up with that answer, and I'm sure you could come up with your own answer. Like, well, whatever. The viewer will chalk it up. But I'm not like saying that's, that's right. Bad but I, I, yeah, I don't yeah. buy that because uh, they did have time to add ten new X Men that aren't even named. You know what I mean? That are just and there. What, Warhawk X-Men and whatever. Were... Yeah, and like uh, <laughs> fucking Sunspot and <laughs> Sun Guys, <laughs> Sun Sun Human Torch. But uh, they also added X Men that we had already seen. It doesn't make any sense. Where it's like, why is Toad here? In like, when you want Toad's the, story? Do you want Toad's uh, origin? But like that well, you know wasn't happens, his origin, you know, you know and what also that's clearly, to Toad when he works a uh, But that's clearly a different Toad than the other thing. But they could have done that. They could have been like, hey, like they could have set up the whole Toad, like him saying weird, like hey, you know what happens like, to a Toad. But instead, they didn't. And they just were like, hey, look, here's someone you might know, you know. And it's just it's like this is cheap storytelling. I don't well, again, Colossus is Russian yeah. here, so fuck this movie for the but same Colossus reasons, right? Colossus is Russian in a lot of the comics. Not in the movies you've seen before. But the thing is... So it, fuck this movie for the same reasons. No, but no, because right, we, we haven't heard Colossus talk in this new timeline, so he could have been oh, Russian. Oh, he got you. I mean, like, for real, if like they ever show Colossus' fucking fat face again outside of a Deadpool movie, and it's that American guy, and he's just like, <laughs> I'm Russian now. I'm mean, like, all right. <laughs> I eat my words. Don't Sorry, Tim. I bet Sorry, you Tim. Do it. Uh, but also, same dude, same kid. I, the, anytime we see Colossus in the future where he's not in things, he's not going to look like the same guy. He's no matter what he looks like, he's going to have Russian accent. Well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but they're going to cast a, a bet, like a more known actor. Well, at this point, day, else, days there's of no future. worry about the X Men series. Yeah, 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 yeah. Days of Future Past retconned a, a 
universe that we will not see. That it's just dead. What? The next movie is yeah, the their, apocalypse. Their solution you know what I mean? to retcon was to just be like, it didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, <laughs> is that is that uh, does does that really get points? Like at the time, it was cool because it was like, well, yes, it, it gets they points fixed to me the universe. It, that, it, like, it, I, I mean, yeah, that's sorry. a cool story. Device. They, they fixed the universe that like like I wanted to see more of, and I was super upset by like three. And we're not going to see more of that because they've let that go, and now yes, they're going we on might, apocalypse. We might not. Who knows? No, we're not. We're Dark, for sure we have not. Dark Phoenix and New Mutants. Are they but canceled? Like, but that's, Are they not? Dark Phoenix is first class, is like universe continuing on. Yeah, there are two Colossuses. Yeah, two there are two Quicksilvers. One of <laughs> and mm-hmm. one of each are both Russian. Yeah. And guess so what? Weird. Uh, <laughs> that's true. That's so weird. It's weird. It yeah. is worth noting though, to, to a point, Andy. Uh, uh, just to bring it back to what Andy said, it's fascinating to watch that the the smaller, more contained stories. Are really working in this universe, especially when we get by the time we get to Logan, like they're just mm. getting better, which mm-hmm. is cool. Whereas I cannot say the same for the ensemble piece. In fact, I know for sure we are not going to say the same with the ensemble pieces once we you get to Apocalypse. You don't know anything about Apocalypse. Oh we'll see. man, I'm willing to put money I've on it. I've never seen it. Olivia <laughs> Munn, come on. Man. I've never seen it. Is that next week? Yeah, yeah that is next yeah. week. All right, let, let's do the voting. This is going to be hard. Uh, cool, great. This is where you're going to need to bring it up eventually, the new one, <laughs> after we, we do the thing. Uh, who? The new one. Oh, right. Well, yeah. So who thinks it's better than The Wolverine at number two? I'll go there. Yeah. Yep. Who thinks it's better than X Men Days of Future Past? Damn. The new ranking so hard. of the X Men Cinematic it, Universe is as follows it. Number one, X Men Days of Future Past. Number two, Deadpool. Number three, The Wolverine. Number four, X Men First Class. Number five, X2. Number six, X Men The Last Stand. Number seven, X Men. And number eight, X Men Origins. Still impressed if you can do that. Next week, X Men Apocalypse. Until then, have an exciting day. To meet the paper. Eat it. Show us your mutant powers. Show us your real host. Eat the paper. Greg would do it. Eat the paper. (laughs)